fun. Um, and I'm going to hand you over to him now. Thanks, everyone. Have fun. Hello everyone, we got another little group here for another little charity game going on. Hey, first off, welcome welcome to, is this game two? Game two of day three, we're a lot in now. I, I bet bloody Chris and NVCDM know how many games it's been by now, but welcome to our special uh, little game of Kids on Bikes today for Jasper's Game Week, Aussie Edition. I'm Matt your local friendly game master because it's not Dungeons and Dragons and we're going to be playing a little uh little bit of something different today something uh, as you can see by some of the costumes going around some of the backgrounds going around it's going to be a little a little bit of kids on bikes today so I'm going to go around the table and say hello to everyone first off check out the Tiltify rewards these ones are weird and I'll explain what they are in a little bit more detail uh during the game setup after we've introduced everyone. So starting with Chris, AKA D20. Hey man, welcome back. It's been what, like two days? <laughs> Probably less for you. Matt, I, I've missed your blue face for, for so many days. It's been I actually, a cry. I actually wasn't here the other day. I had to sub out real quick. What happened? Oh, okay. Well, your your better looking twin was on the stream and he yeah. just crushed it. So... And my job's in peril then, I guess. Huh? Yeah, that's it. That's it. Time to, <laughs> time to move to a different state. Uh, hi, I'm Chris. Uh, I'm most likely going to get murdered by uh, the cast or the lovely people in chat or possibly Matt from there. Um, back to you, Matt. Back to me. All right, next up, we will go. I'll look at my overlay this time. NVC DM, hello again. Welcome. Hello, Matthew. How are you? Oh, I'm in trouble now. Full names. <laughs> well, we are playing kids on bikes, aren't we? That's right. <laughs> Um, hi everyone, I'm NVC DM. Um, back again for more action. Uh, hopefully a little bit more lighthearted than the Cthulhu game of yesterday. But um, today I'm going to be playing uh, Teen. So that's going to be fun. Uh, we'll see where that goes. Yeah. Next up as well, we have Heath. How you doing? I'm good. Uh, I am Heath. I'm the Antipodean D20, no relation. Uh, I, live, I live in South Australia. Love thing, all things gaming, and I love the, the fact that Jasper's is such a great cause, um, bringing light to a subject that uh, shouldn't be in the dark. Excellent. AJ, hello. Hi. I love the costume so Thank much. You. <laughs> um, hi, I'm AJ Winters. I'm a content creator, uh, world builder, and DM from Winters Tales. Uh, today, I'll be playing six year old Eli, who thinks he's a superhero. <laughs> All right, next down the line, Meg, how you doing? Hi, I'm good. Um, my name's Meg. I'm here because it's fun. Um, I did not get the background memo, so I am in space. Um, but this game has nothing to do with space. Fair enough. Coincidentally, I actually do have a Teens in Space book. Uh, so, you <laughs> know, you're not far off. This is this is just the other module one. I was like, oh, this, this, this gag works now. But no, welcome. <laughs> Thank you for winning an auction and supporting a great cause. And last but not least as well, Mitch, a.k.a. Rook. Hey, buddy, how you doing? Hello, Matt. Back again. Hello, everybody. I'm Mitch, a.k.a. The Average Rook on YouTube and Twitch. And uh, depending on what happens, I might be the one doing the murdering. Yes, I have seen your character, and it is awfully, uh, how would you put a little, it? A uh, sketch. <laughs> you, know how, you know how you can have, like, archetypes of players uh, in D&D? &D? He's managed to find the niche of uh, that bit in Kids on Bikes with the goth slash occultist archetype. Yeah, I changed okay. it a little bit in the Discord thing. Yeah. You'll see. Oh, it's great. I love, I love everything you've done so far. Okay, so Kids on Bikes is a little bit different to D&D &D, uh, because... Part of uh, what I wanted to do here is I want to get the chat involved. I want to get you guys involved. And literally, the story is going to be built right now. This is an improv activity as part of it. So for the first 
uh, let's say 20 minutes to half an hour of the stream will literally be us creating the game world we are about to play in. We're going to come up with rumors. We're going to come up with your relationships with each other. The chat can donate via Tiltify Rewards. The rumors about town as well. Uh, the school, the sports team, the town, the economy, everything that we're doing. AJ, we're world building. We are world building. We love it. Yes. Uh, so uh, right now, uh, what I want, and uh, we'll wait for some donations to start coming through as well. But if a, if a ch person in chat or someone wants to donate, you have the new rumor in town. It's it's a twenty dollar donation. It is in USD. But if we see those start coming in, we will add these in addition to the players' contributions to the town. And then the DM will myself will decide in there which ones will actually be true and fake in the town. They are rumors after all. But to the players, they actually don't know if they are true or not until they, they happen in game potentially. Uh, for example, someone in one of my last games said there was a uh, Santa Claus Krampus style person who steals children's feet in my game. And that one actually turned out to be real. The bakery owner was Santa Claus, and everyone was terrified of him, especially because they got detention and had to go work at his store. Anyway, so let's kick this off. <laughs> Our adventure is going to take place in what time period? And I'm going to throw to, let's say AJ first. AJ, what would you like our town time period to be? You can say any decade, and we'll just kind of like mold a little bit of the town after that. I think let's go. I'm gonna write all this down. By let's the way, let's go 90s. 90s. So yeah. everyone, everyone who's a kid in this game will have one of those little colored, uh, colored. Uh, you know, the little clip books that have like loads of crappy pens and crayons, you know, the, like the little deluxe artist pack thing. I remember having one of those uh, when I was there. So 90s Maybe is I've going to be our, our first time period. Well, everyone's going to, you know, you can add that to your backpack, anyone who's playing a kid, because you have items in this. We're all making guns out of connector pens. Yeah, exactly. You can you can get a bunch of, uh, you know, the Calippo pens. I want one of those like God, erasable sketchy things. I've forgotten that so long ago. Yeah. Okay. Sketch pad. I'm going to throw this out to the group this time. What is the industry that our town is uh, known for? What are they best known for? Got to be beer, right? Beer? Yeah. Lum lumber? Wood? Oh, yeah, I hear some lumber, lumber and wood. Woods. Could be a uh, brewery and lumber. <laughs> uh, 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 what about, what about, okay, what about, what about the brewery slash lumber plant? <laughs> yeah. so right down yeah. the middle. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so they get drunk and then cut trees down. Oh, we just invented stone and <laughs> with brewery. Uh, uh, okay, so okay, I forgot to do with the most important one. What's our town called? Lumbia Town. Lumbia. Place. <laughs> yeah. So I'm thinking. I'm thinking of setting this maybe like, you know, I'm thinking like really rural Australia, far north Queenslandy. So like, oh, well, that can that can have a that name could be any anything. number of things. So yeah, you could you can literally say weird names. This will this will go through. I, think I, it's like it. I reckon I reckon you could call it something ridiculous like Dry Creek, and it's got a massive river and a lake nearby. I like that. So you know, as in like it's what I like. A, I like the suggestion yeah. of Brumberwood in there. That's what our beer can be called as well. <laughs> Dry Creek. Oh, Dry oh, cool. Creek. I like this. I like this. I'm seeing chats having a good time in here. We got some brewery and lumber. The Brumber Ridge. party. That could be like the jump politician. Jumbuck two. Jumbuck two. <laughs> well, what happened love... about what happened to Jumbuck one? We don't talk about. All right. Um, it's the, the, the lumber yard makes the barrels God. for Jumbuck oh, one. Oh my yeah. god. Where they brew other alcohol, <laughs> we send the barrels okay, there. Okay, so uh, our town is called. What do we? What do we land on with the town? Dry. Dry Creek. Dry Creek. Dry Creek. Dry Creek. Okay, the town of Dry Creek. What is our town famous for? Beer and the forestry industry. <laughs> the beer. It, it has like a distinct cedar flavored um, ale. Okay, so it's it's got a really good cedar ale. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Does everyone like that? You can do yeah. a couple in this, yeah. so it could be like a one or two thing. Because these are the, a, these are uh, ale or lager. I, I can't tell which. I'll just okay. say an ale. So what are you saying, Chris? Why can't we have a giant thing? And this is an Australian town. Oh, right? you want to have a big thing? Oh. I was saying big. Yeah. Big mm -hmm. in this town. The big, big beer in Australian. can. 
The big I think we already have a big a giant can somewhere freaking there. sewing okay. needle. Yeah, we don't want to get IP <laughs> infringement. Uh, no giant beer can. <laughs> what about what about something like something like to the, they they were like, ah, oh, crap, we can't have the big beer, but we're also famous for lumber, so we can have the big woody. And it's just yeah. like a it's like a really big, it's a big um, plank. Yeah, it's just like a really big piece of lumber that everyone thinks it's phallic. Uh, Isn't it just a tree or, the most, or like a That's gigantic much stump where for. the phallic object used to be? So it's just a tree. Yeah, so it's just a, it's a tree. It's <laughs> so a tree a that tree. they've killed. Yeah. Yep. So we have the big tree. Big, uh, tree. So big tree. Big tree. Big tree. <laughs> in Dry so Creek. We got the big oak barrel. That's a cool one. Yeah, as well. I, actually, uh, I like that. I like that. I like it the started off as a big beer can, and then we found out someone else had oh, a, a hasty paint top out of it. So funny. <laughs> <laughs> like so funny. Okay, let's do that. So it's going to be the big oak barrel. Uh-huh. And and it, I'm going to put a note saying that it used to be the big stubby, but they couldn't have it because someone already took it. <laughs> used to be the big stubby. Okay, what's the town infamous for while I write this? I'm saying drink driving at this point in time, but <laughs> the sheer amount of alcohol and, and lumbering. Massive health on. code violations. Yeah. <laughs> so massive OSHA violations? I was going to say monster spotting in the local river or, or lake. Ooh, oh, hold on. What, what was that? Uh, like monster a mo- uh, monster being spotted in the local lake or river. Oh. And although people think it's cool, the mayor is like, no, 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 this will kill the town. We don't want a monster. We don't okay, want, so the monster we don't want those, in the lake. We don't, we don't want those wretched kids turning up in the van. Well, I would actually say <laughs> so, that so one. So like one lake that isn't dry out of like the 10 that we have that is dry. <laughs> we <laughs> think there are yeah. monsters in it. Is this yeah, a confirmed thing or not? Would this be confirmed? Because I actually think that might go better as a rumor and you don't know if it's true or not. We think yeah. it is suspicious that it's the Ooh. only one still living. I think that okay. that's, it has to be a rumor because rumor, it's one yeah. of those things that people might drive to the town to like yeah. try and find it. Yeah, it's a tourism thing. So like, I'm yeah. thinking like this, so the town is is definitively infamous for something. Oh, what if we like, because we've cut down so many trees, we've actually like got an overpopulation of a creature, like a- Like a beaver? Small be- like beaver or some sort of squirrel or something. Yeah. Australia, famously known for its, for its uh, <laughs> squirrels. beavers. Squirrels um, and beavers. Uh, let's okay. I like that. I like. Uh, I was actually going to say like the lumber and brewery, and they're infamous for immediately cutting down all of their rainforest, and they are starting to run out of wood. We've, we've, drunk, just, we've displaced we've drunk a whole bunny lot rabbits. of rabbits. That's what we have. Drunk We're the only town with a three-day working week. <laughs> <laughs> they're infamous for that. <laughs> um, okay, so okay, we've had a few out there. What was what was one that everyone kind of liked for that? Gonna say, uh, jumping on that last one, we could be infamous, infamous for the only six-day working week because we've oh, got to keep the lumber yeah. and the beer production going. Mm. Yeah. So yeah. We're All not- right. So I'll say six-day work week. Yeah, sure. <laughs> uh, let's do a double on that one. So it's a six-day work week and the massive deforestation. <laughs> Yes. Yeah. I'm okay. still down for drunk bunny rabbits. <laughs> oh, massive deforestation resulting in drunk bunny rabbits. Yes. They're hopeless without their homes, so they've turned to the ale. They have to go to the brewery <laughs> to find a home. <laughs> well, it's I a- found I found something in there that kind of works because if it's resulting in drunk bunny rabbits, that means something's in the water that's getting these bunnies drunk. Brooke, I love that. Like the brewery is also the animal rescue center. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's another good rumor. That's a very funny rumor. Okay, so oh, so chat. Just as a reminder, if you want to if you want to contribute uh, in any way to this, check out the Tiltify Rewards because uh, we've got we we are not even halfway. It's gonna go off. It's gonna oh, go weird based on some of this already. Okay, so we've got the town of Dry Creek in the nineties, who are a a you know they're best known a creek for their so lumber close and to the brewery. brewery that it's a runoff for a Carlton dry style beer. I was thinking <laughs> I was thinking something yeah it's like a runoff. Um okay. They they they're best known for their lumber and brewery. They're fa- famous for the big oak barrel. It used to be the big stubby but another town took it. They're infamous for their 6-day work week and massive deforestation resulting in drunk bunny rabbits. Uh economically their town is what? Pros- prospering, floundering, or stagnant? Like what what how how are they doing? It's like probably like an unnatural like balance that is being kept despite all of the crap that is going on and their six day work week and all of the deforestation. Oh, so you reckon it's like something pretty keeping stable? it alive. Oh, oh. Stable. I wanna see a rumor to do with that then. If it's if it is mysteriously stable, I like that. But I wanna know why. I'm going to literally write mysteriously stable. 
It's like our town should have been fucked up by now, and something <laughs> is keeping it yeah, together. Yeah. Yeah. Are we All not right. farming the bunnies and selling the... Oh, no. <laughs> Or the bunny rabbits are working. We don't even have to do anything. To <laughs> bunny, that's they're why, drunk. No, that's why the like, six-day work weeks, like, the six days per, like buy bunnies. Like the brewery has just released a new like bunny-themed beer, and the rumor is that they're getting all the bunnies to swim in the vat, like in like red tea <laughs> beer. But, like, it's like it's yeah, like, yeah, an, yeah, it's like an odd world rapture farm situation. <laughs> oh god. All, okay. Go, all of a sudden, I'm going to the Simpsons with red tick beer. Mm, need okay. More tick. I need two for this one. A notable local organization. Pre- pre-marinated beer runs. White hair beer, it's pretty good. I'm going to... Let me drop, drop that down. Okay, so a notable local organization. Can we have an off-brand YMCA? An off-brand YMCA? Yeah. All right, so uh, explain further. What would you like with that? Um, I don't know if YMCA is different in other places. We have like like kids' care centers, but it's, oh, yeah. it's just not that. Oh, so <laughs> we, we have those. Yeah, we got those. But it's maybe full of like super rebellious kids and they like took okay. it over and it's Dry Creek a Social Preservation head. Society. <laughs> Dry Creek YMCA. <laughs> yeah. When, or, can we also Oh sorry. No, no, go on, Meg. I was gonna say, could we also not have like an anti workers union <laughs> to preserve the six day work week? An anti workers union? Yeah. That could be the local landmark. <laughs> <laughs> or a rumor. Uh Dry Creek YMCA for Wayward Teens. <laughs> there you go uh and then i've got one more so we got another another local organization so uh we had a we had um the big rsl as one of ours in another game how about how about uh dry creeks uh country women's association where they are against the beer because they want to preserve a scone and this recipe has been handed down for generations and they're afraid that the brewery and the lumber yard are going to overshadow this this, uh, this oh, they dry think, creek scone. They think the scone is, has more historical value to the... Okay, let's call it... Let's call it maybe like the... So like you've got the ancient... Like the Relics Museum or something like that. The Historic Bakers Union. The Historic Bakers Union? <laughs> what, what's everyone else think? What's, what's everyone else think? I'll go with the group. I'm down with that. Hey, I, I'm act. Believe it or not, I am actually a qualified baker by trade. I haven't, okay, so, I haven't done that for a while. So you've got my vote. <laughs> so we got the HBU. Yeah, Historic as, as Bakers long as it was Union established in 1980. The Historic Bakers. Thing. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> very ST. Very 1980. Uh, protects a bagel. No, uh, was it scone? scone? Protection of scones. All right. All the bunny uh, biscuits. <laughs> I need another two for this one. A notable local landmark. I need two for this. Can we have a swimming pool? You can absolutely, like a local swimming pool, like a public yeah. one, or is this a private one that everyone goes and jumps in? Like someone just has a really big pool, uh, like in the rich part of town, and everyone just goes and swims in there anyway, because it just, just fuck that guy. Sure. I, I, rec- I, I reckon, I reckon again, circling into the, the, the town pride sort of thing, uh, you could have it that's a public pool that's a little bit dilapidated there's no funding because everyone's concentrating on other things but they keep it limping along because one time 30 years ago someone like dawn fraser came and was there for like half an hour and that's the big claim to fame to keep this pool from being closed permanently so then did they ever did they ever clean it out after dawn fraser jumped in (laughs) no it's just slightly green oh slightly green after all these years (laughs) all right it's um, a green pool it's called the green pool what the green like? pool? The green pool. It's not no, a good the, thing. The, the, the emerald pool, because the green pool. sounds wrong. Unclean <laughs> since Dawn... Fra- was it Dawn Fraser? <laughs> or yeah. Someone Shane Gould, Dawn Fraser, someone, someone of, that, of that that um, uh, of that era. Okay, what about like... Uh, I'll, say, I'll say unclean since Dawn Fraser accidentally fell in it once. <laughs> <laughs> so it's not even like a good icon. It's mm. just like a bit shit. But, you know, that's, it's the only thing that they hold dear. <laughs> about like the, the Dry Creek pub, which is a pub, but it's been abandoned because all the money goes into the brewery now. Oh, that's a good rumor. <laughs> that's a great rumor. Like it's like a bit of a conspiracy. Okay, so what else have we got? I need one more. I need one more uh, local landmark. I actually, I'm gonna, I'm gonna on on the pool note, AJ. I liked what you said as enough as a local pool. I'm actually gonna maybe modify one we had earlier 
What if the big oak barrel was also doubling as the public p- swimming pool? <laughs> How big is the oak barrel? It's a pretty big bloody barrel. It's got to be the biggest one. Does that mean you have to climb up it like a water tower to Maybe get they, in the yeah, pool? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like a water tower. Yeah, like makeshift yeah, ladders, yeah. like all going up. Okay. Also, the local there's, swimming pool. As long as there's a, map. as long as they um, there's a water slide coming down. Out yeah, of absolutely. The it's it's not only a water it's slide. A it's one straw. of it's a crocodile water slide. You slide down the tail. <laughs> Fair enough. Did you, ever, nice. did you ever go on one of those? There was a, no. there was a bunch of those. Man, I I am fr- just just as a side note, I'm from Cairns and I grew up there, and this is the, <laughs> this is like all of my childhood here. These weird little things that I if if you ever hear them, uh, but yeah, crocodile swimming pool slides. Yeah. Get on yeah. it. There's a good one in chat, Matt, for one of our, our, yep. our landmarks, which is a post office that Ned Kelly held up or didn't. We're not quite sure, but we claim he has. That's a good. That's a good rumor. Yeah. Uh, Even though it's completely wrong part of town, who cares? Ned Kelly came and <laughs> robbed this post office. <laughs> uh, 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 so this is a very Australian one. Have you got like a? Is there a statue or anything in this town? Uh, so like, you know, like have you seen the dog in a tucker box at all? Mm-hmm. Anyone ever seen that? Is there is there any like landmarks like that around? Well, we Do did it. have a barrel, but you turned it got into a, t- a swimming pool. Well, we still got the barrel. It's still <laughs> fully functional as a barrel. In fact, it's doing more function, if anything, that it's actually holding something. Do we want to go like an animal statue? Like, is it a bunny? Flavor? Oh, is it a bunny? Yeah, that could work. Well, this is Australia. Surely it's a let's sheep. Let's go. Right? Let's go. Uh, <laughs> Let's let's go. Let's. Uh, I don't uh, even want to correct you on that, <laughs> Matt. Chat has just picked up the statue. Should be Dawn Fraser falling, like, as in falling into the pool. <laughs> just mid fall. Dawn Fraser. Put it tripping. in the school. Oh no. Uh, falling over. So Dawn Fraser falling over is the uh, thing. Okay. <laughs> what's watching, from if you're watching Dawn, we apologize. And if you're not from Australia, you can Google who Dawn Fraser is. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, what else have we got? Uh, we've also got some new NPCs in town we can do a bit later, but what's our school, school sports team called? It's water polo, right? <laughs> the, dry, the Dry Creek Hops. <laughs> dry Creek Hops? Yeah. Amazing. Nice. Oh, that like I said, now I realize yeah. how much of an irony that is. Man, that's a great, like, it's, 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 it's got layers, Mitch. It's that's, double level, yeah. It's got the layers. Mascot, the mascot is a bunny. Oh, Onions have hops, layers. Dry Creek has layers. <laughs> All right. So, so with the Dry Creek hops. Yes. Oh god. <laughs> I love it. Okay. Uh, here is the big one uh, that we're going to do before we get into character stuff. I need one rumor for each player and chat. If you start donating, this is where you come in as well. Your rumors will be recorded. One rumor about the town that comes into play mechanically of the game. So this will influence the story. This will influence a lot of stuff in the game. This is really important. I'm going to start with going around the Zoom call. Chris, what is the rumor about town? Now, it can be something that you believe or everyone believes, but pretty much anything you say in here will start being real. So if there's a lake in town as a part of this rumor, there is now a lake in the town. Yeah. <clears throat> we believe what? there is a secret government base <laughs> controlling the bunnies. Nice. Okay. So there is a secret government base where? Controlling the bunnies. Yeah. Underground. Clearly. Underground? Yeah. That's what my grandma says. Okay. Uh, so says Tyler's grandma. Yep. And she would know. Okay. The war vet. <laughs> NVC DM, what is your rumor? My rumor is that the HBU is secretly a front for some kind of cult. Nice. The a- so the, the, the HBU... Baker's Union. Yeah, the is Historic a- Baker's Union is a front for a cult. Is a front for a cult. HBU is a front for a cult. Okay, so what is... So uh, what's the cult doing? So the cult is um, trying to divert, so they um, covertly divert the yeast supply to the brewery to their own nefarious rituals. <laughs> okay. Trying to covertly divert the yeast. That was a good one. That was a good tongue twister. <laughs> They're trying to covertly divert the yeast to the brewery. From the brewery. From the brewery. A brewery. 
to, to, where are they putting it? <laughs> putting it in the. They're, they're putting just, it in uh, their just, They're just putting it in another barrel, another um, big oak barrel. H and E really stands for Home Brewers Union. They're making their own homebrew. Yeah, yeah. So trying to covertly di- divert the yeast from the brewery to question mark for the their own oh. to perfect their first drunk scone. Drunk scone. To their this bakery. Is very hot fuzz. <laughs> Okay, okay, you got evil bakers. I like it. All right, AJ, what do you got for me? Ooh, um, that. <laughs> the monster in the lake is magical and can grant wishes. There is a monster in the lake and it is magical and can grant wishes? Yeah. There's a monster in the lake that can grant wishes. All right, Heath. I was going to go the monster in the lake thing where someone apparently 20 years ago let their goldfish go in the lake, and to this day it still swims, eats, and grows. But uh, I can I can go with something else if you give me a beat or two. All right, I'll come back. How's that? Uh, yeah, sure. Meg, what do you got? I really liked the bunnies in the beer. Yep. Like being an essential element is the bunnies need to paddle around in the beer and it gives it that, it was cedars, <laughs> that real cedar flavor, I guess. Okay. I have just received, <laughs> was that actually you? <laughs> I have, I have <laughs> yeah. just, I, oh, sorry. Uh, Meg, can I get that one more time? Cause uh, I have been informed of a donation that we will get to in a sec. So sorry, can I get the one? The drunk bunnies. Uh, float around, float around, paddle in the beer to give it its original flavor. Okay, so so we have um, a hopping Secret ingredient. Yeah, we have like hopping mad <laughs> lager or something like that. And they're uh, and they're bunnies. It's it's like the red tick beer. So bunnies, hopping mad is bunnies mm. in a very Swim slow green around the way. new beer called hopping mad lager to give it its unique flavor. Lego Meister. <laughs> Lagermeister <laughs> with Hamish Blake. Okay. Mitch, what do you got? Okay. So there must be something keeping this uh, the economy afloat. It yep. seems that with the, the brewery, the, uh, the logging, and the overcrowding of the rabbits and trying to maintain them, that would probably keep it, or at least uh, run the city into the ground. Yes, absolutely. Something must be keeping the float, and it must have something to do with the executives of the brewery. There's a possibility, it hasn't been confirmed yet, that the high executives of the uh, of the brewery might have made a deal with the devil. Oh, you think... Oh! Okay, give me that again. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, so you think... In order that, to keep okay. the economy afloat with all of the business going down, my character believes... That the high executives of the brewery, which should be like the highest um, uh, piece of the economy there, might have made a pact with the devil. So the bre- so the brewery, or like the do you mean the brewery, or like the the brewery the would be the uh, the main president. point of it, the president, and maybe some of his high executives, the highest ones, might have made a pact with the devil to keep the economy afloat. I love this. So in order to keep the economy afloat, the brewery president and council have made a pact with the devil to keep the town uh, rich. No, rich? Stable. Stable. To keep the town stable. I I really like that one. Okay. So uh, I've had a donation come through and a rumor is now that one of the group is an undercover agent from the cult. So, if you like that, Ooh. that's now going in the list. One of the group is an undercover agent from the cult. And I need one more. Uh, Heath, did you have yes. one? Yes, yes. So, okay, so the town's mayor, 20 years ago this year, his son left to go overseas to a job. Yep. Or so the story goes. People don't believe that that's the truth. And the, the mayor maintains it. No, no, my son took a job in Germany. That's right, yes, Germany. But every three weeks, he's seen going into what's left of the forest and has gone for a whole day. 
So every three weeks, who was it? Sorry, the mayor. Oh, the mayor. The mayor of town of of Dry Creek goes into the forest the whole day. For the whole day, takes stuff with him, comes back with nothing. Are we talking like he comes back naked, or he just comes no. back like <laughs> still, no. like what do you say? Like how 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 no, much no. nothing are we talking? Let's say he goes with a couple of suitcase or, or, or eskies full of stuff, but then comes back with <laughs> okay. or, or bags or something, but he comes back okay. without them. And you think you see him, but every five seconds, and always when you see him, every five seconds later, a distraction happens. You look away, and then he's gone. And oh, then he's gone. I love it. Oh, I oh, love oh. It. so I'm going to add it. a note. Always Mayor five seconds. Yes. Is real slippery guy. Yeah, <laughs> I love it. All right. And then if you if, if you engage with him, he doesn't know what he's talking about. <laughs> I see uh, Miss Cass and Chetty comes back gl- glowing and he's like, I bring you love. Bring <laughs> <laughs> oh, his legs. Okay, so this is the town. I'm going to go through all of this. Uh, chat, you got one more chance for your rumors. Uh, okay, our adventure is going to take place in the, te- in the 90s in the town of Dry Creek. Uh, Our industry is best known for its lumber and brewery. Our town is famous for the big oak barrel, which used to be the big stubby, but now the town talk it. Also, it's the local swimming pool. Our town is infamous for a six-day work week and massive deforestation resulting in drunk bunny rabbits. Uh, It is economically stable. Uh, uh, Some notable notable local organizations are the Dry Creek YMCA for wayward teens and the Home, Home Bakers Union. I've forgotten the name. Historic Bakers Historic Union. Baker's oh. Union uh, uh, established 1980. Protection of scones. Uh, another local landmark is the Green Pool, unclean since Dawn Frazier fell in it once, <laughs> and uh, a statue of Dawn Frazier falling over. Our school sports team is called the Dry Creek Hops, and our rumors are that there is a secret government base underground controlling the bunnies, uh, which is, uh, is Taylor's. We have... Uh, the Historic Bakers Union is a front for a cult trying to covertly divert the yeast from the bakery to the, from the brewery to the bakery for their own nefarious purposes. There is a monster in the lake that can grant wishes. The bunnies swim around the new beer called Hopping Mad Lager to give its unique flavor. In order to keep the, the economy afloat, the brewery president and council have made a pact with the devil to keep the, two, the town stable. And one of the group is an undercover agent for said cult. And what is the last one? Every three weeks, the mayor of Dry Creek goes into the forest for a whole day and comes back with nothing he took in suitcases, but he's also just a real slippery guy. (laughs) This is what we have created, and now we have to lie in our beds. One more thing I need everyone to do is, I'm just going to go around the table real quick, and I need everyone to roll a d20 very quickly. Oh, Sorry, we have one more, uh, one more rumor. The Baker's Cult is making scones. Sorry. Okay, sorry. Uh, the okay, so we got two more rumors. Sorry, we've got the Baker's Cult is making scones to appease the lake monster, and we also have the bunnies actually arrive there in a spaceship, secretly running the town via being majority shareholders of the brewery. <laughs> Okay. Okay. I'll take that. All right. These are our rumors. These are our rumors that we've got. Uh, what else do we have here? What else do we have here? So everyone roll a D20 really quick. This is going to be your positive relationships towards certain characters. Now, uh, before I do this, does anyone have a pre-established uh, relationship with one of the characters? Uh, for example, like, are you brother, sister? Do you know each other through school or anything? And I, I will ask that like one or two of you do know each other. So does anyone want to know each other? Um, uh, oh. sorry, go. Um, I probably know Conrad because we're both kind of outcasts. Okay, so we're kind Dano, of cool with each other. Dan, Dan. Is it Dano or Dano? Dano. Uh, Dano and Conrad know each other because you guys like sit on the fringes of society and popularity. He's the only one that calls him conduit. Oh, okay, okay. All right, let's start with you two then. Dano and Conrad, can you roll a d20 and let me know those numbers? I rolled an 11. <clears throat> an 11. So what would you do? I rolled a 16. You got a 16? 16 and 11. All right, uh, Dano, this is for you to write down. What would you? What length would you go in order to defend Conrad? 
Hmm. <laughs> so this is a positive relationship. <laughs> um, I think that Conrad um, Conduit probably uh, came to my defense when I was being like bullied at school. So All right. I think I would probably do the same. So you come into his defense. So that's yeah, the link. You so go, you take a punch probably, for him. Yeah, I'd take a punch for Conrad. All right. Note that down. That is your positive relationship with Conrad. All right. Conrad, mm -hmm. what is your, this is your negative relationship. And you got a 16? Yeah. <laughs> How far would you go to make this character suffer? Which is Dan Dano. So where is he? <laughs> where, whereas he would take a punch for you. How far would you go to make Dano suffer? Um... The only time that uh, he would go out of my, like, wish to protect him is if it turns out through some form of, like, cryptology that I figure out that he's part of a ritual and I need to sacrifice him. So you wouldn't die for him and you would actually enjoy watching him being sacrificed by people? I would, I would take a punch for him. I would help him unless for some reason it turns out I need him for something involving demons. A greater okay, because you, like, you just like demons more than you do Dano. Is that what I'm hearing? <laughs> yes. Okay, sweet. All right. That's the hierarchy. Demons, Dano. <laughs> Let's say, uh, Molly, does your character have any connection to these other ones, or have you only ever heard of them in town? I was going to offer um, because I was going to be the guidance counselor. Yep. Um, oh. One of the adults. All right. Um, if anybody wanted guidance, mentoring, that kind of relationship or you've just been sent to me and you hate me because you're often sent to my office where we sit in silence for an hour. Um, I don't know. Any of that? I think uh, I Eli's, like that. Eli's the new kid in town. So he probably would have been sent to the guidance counselor. It was like a tour of the school or whatever. So I think you're probably Eli's first friend. Oh, <laughs> that's so sweet. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I'm definitely in for that. All right. So, all right, let's do your two next. All right, so can I get you, uh, Molly, to roll a positive relationship for this, a d20, if you haven't already? I've rolled a 13. A 13. What about this character? Oh, what about this character always makes you happy? What about, what about Eli oh. <laughs> always brings a smile? He has such big dreams. He's always dressed as a superhero. He's an inspiration to his peers. Uh, <laughs> he wants to make everyone happy and do the best for everyone, etc. I think that's a good oh, one. Oh, I love that. Okay, so... Let's chuck that down. Okay, inversely, Eli, what's your negative relationship with this character? I rolled a four. You rolled a four. What are you sure this character, Molly, is hiding from you? Hmm. What am I sure? You are sure of this. Some of these will affect your roleplay, yeah. I think that Miss Mason <laughs> um, is um, hiding the location of the supervillain. Oh, who is the supervillain in Eli's eyes? He doesn't know yet. <laughs> oh, he hasn't found him. But you think that Molly's a hench person? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. All right. I like that. I At like least that. she knows. All right. Let's say Tyler and Arch. Is it Lank or Archie, Heath? Uh, well, his, his, his mother always calls him Archibald. His dad calls him Arch. And his friends call him Lank because he's tall and lanky. Okay, so <laughs> how, I'm going to just throw this out because I need some relationships. How do you and Tyler know each other? Would he call you Lank or would you call you Archie? Uh, probably Lank. Okay. How do you two know each other? Give me a little bit and then I'll get you to roll some stuff. Uh, school. Uh, uh, so Lank's a uh, teen. Uh, is Tyler a teen as well? Yeah, he's 16. 16. So Archie's 14, so we'd know each other through school. I think we got four teens, one kid, and an adult. And I'm, so. I'm a child. Yeah, I said kid. Yeah. So uh, teens, yeah. one child, one adult. Yeah, yeah. All right, so, so you guys know each other like that. Okay, can I get a positive relationship for you, Lank? Right, so I rolled a nine. A nine. I nearly read the negative. Okay, so what is the kindest thing this character has ever done for you? 
Uh, so Lank was riding around on his bike one day and uh, had um, a couple of the stray dogs try to go him and Tyler turned happened to turn up at that time and just happened to have like some beef jerky or something with him, <laughs> threw it at the dogs uh, to distract them and both he and Lank were able to ride off. And uh, since that day, uh, Lank has developed a taste of beef jerky and always has some on him in case uh, Tyler ever wants some beef jerky. And hey, mate, I just happen to have some beef jerky. Awesome. All right. I'm going to allow you to add beef jerky in a, in a big packet to your backpack. Okay. Um, uh, this could come in handy. It may not. But uh, Tyler, can I get a D20 for your negative relationship for this character? It's a natural 20, which is useless in this game. But yeah, it sure is. is. There are no crits here. Okay, how do, ooh, that's a big one. How did your how did this character, Lank, betray you the last time you confided in him? Wow. How did they betray you? Like they have utterly broke your trust. Lank, oh, went, to the, <laughs> Lank went to the to the counselor. Oh, and and you didn't you really didn't about like what did they did they did they rat on you or did uh, they do that beyond your wishes like you were like oh we shouldn't go to the counselor that's lame and they did uh, anyway because they're looking I'm after assume, their mental health. I'm assuming that this is this is a, a a one school town type thing, right? Oh, absolutely. It's a, this is a one street town, uh, <laughs> and uh, and Molly seems to be one of those people that care that cares too much and is like, don't go to the counselor, don't go to the counselor. You've gone to the counselor. Uh, okay, okay. I don't need to solve no problems. Okay, cool. Oh. God, I know people like that. All right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we have relationships. Now, the last thing we need to do, and then we can get into the game itself, is I need you all to decide what your top stat is. Now, you'll have the six stats of brains, brawn, fight, flight, charm, and grit. And I don't mind where you put your stats, but the way it works is a D20 is your highest stat. And the way the system works is whatever your stat dice type is, is what you roll. Uh, and sometimes you'll get a plus ones or plus twos. I'll be using things called adversity tokens, and I'll explain those when they come up. But basically, you'll get a plus one or two based on how many tokens you have. Uh, and what I would like for everyone is to decide what one stat is, is the thing that you're the best at, because we have six players and six stats. Therefore, I want to try and have each person have the, the spread of uh, stats. So who thinks out of your characters would have the best brains. Who is the smartest? Thank you for the raid, minus one charisma. Hello, welcome to the chat. We are setting up a kids on bikes game for charity. Have a check out of the Tiltify donations. But who has the biggest brains in your group? Well, my character's been trying to like study the town for ages in secret. Oh, you want to be the smartest? Okay. Okay, so does anyone, does anyone have a reason why as to why Conrad would not be the smartest and they would like to be the smartest instead. Just means that they get to roll the D20 for their skill checks instead of another dice size. All right, Conrad, you are D20 in, in, uh, in, your, in your brains. So just go through and mark the other dice sizes as your stats until you have six. Uh, make sure that the D4 is in the one that is your dump stat because that is definitely going to be your weakest. Okay, I'm probably just going to take what the, uh, the rule book says. So Yeah, go for it. Brains, and then just swap around. So from order from highest to lowest... Brains, fight, flight, grit, charm, brawn. Sweet. As long as you have that noted on your side and then roll the dice appropriate, that's fine by me. Okay, brawn, who is the strongest? Too much brute strength do you have? Who is the strong one of the group? I'm thinking it could be Dano, Lank, or Tyler. But it's going to be one of you. You mean, like, comparatively, you don't actually have to be strong. It's just out of this specific group that you're the we'll strongest. We'll just do it, Tyler, then. That's fine. All right. Okay, so, Tyler, D20 is your top stat. Uh, sorry. Yeah, and then uh, that'll be your, for your fight. Flight. It, ha it determines how good you are with whatever weapons or fighting skills you have. It also lets you avoid things like a dexterity. It's basically dexterity. Uh, who is quite slippery? Who is quite agile? Who is good with aim? Um, probably Dano. I All right, he's Dano, been avoiding you, you... social situations for ages, so he can slip out of stuff really easy. That's perfect. That's a great flight skill. So Chuck T twenty in your flight. Uh, what else have we got? We have. Did I do brawn at all? I think I missed brawn. No, you did. Nope. Did you did do brawn as well? You, you didn't do fight. I've oh, not fight. Sorry. 
Okay, so who is good at fighting? Who is good at fighting out of the three? So it's, I think it's Lank, Eli, and Molly. Who can hold their own? Probably not Eli. <laughs> Eli probably thinks he can, I guess. Molly, are you like secretly a brick shit house? I was actually, I was thinking about it. I was venturing, you know, because I'll go to any lengths to protect the kids. I think that would go really well for you then. Yeah, you know, yeah. Oh, that's yeah. great. Yeah, yeah you're oh, a secret a martial one. artist. Yeah, let's do that. I love <laughs> that idea. All right, Molly, you've got D20 in, in fight. Excellent. All right, I've got charm and grit left. So, Lank or, or Eli, which one of you is charming? I think it has to be cute little Eli. All right, yeah. yeah. And then that means that the hardy character, how hard it is to break you emotionally or physically, will be <laughs> Lank. Mm. So you're the gritty character. You've got determination and willpower. Oh, that, that works. All right. We have our six stats. Everyone's the best at something. It doesn't mean you should do it when you get in a, in a scruff, but it means that we know roughly where they are. So with that... Hey, who's ready to play some kids on bikes? I mean, we're yeah, already playing it. it technically, but like, who wants to get into the bloody story of it? Sure. All right. Okay. <laughs> this is bloody ridiculous already. So let's start. Let's start our story in the uh, Dry Creek YMCA for wayward teens, huh? Let's say that Molly... You are you are expected to welcome a couple new kids here today. The the uh, Dry Creek YMCA for Wayward Teens. It is a staple of the town. It's right smack bang in center. Right at you know in this town, it's a one street town. But that one street is basically like a big X scenario. So technically, it's two streets. But people still want to say, no, nah, it's a bloody one street town. Town's not big enough for two streets. Even though clearly <laughs> it is. Like they they dislike the fact that it is actually getting bigger realistically and it's not just called a one street town anymore it's really really true so there's big x pattern and the uh, uh right next to the dawn fraser falling over statue is the dry creek ymca for wayward teens molly uh i'm gonna say that you are uh, uh expecting some people to be dropped off pretty soon or walk in the doors but on a typical day what would you be doing uh, at the uh the the dry creek ymca for wayward teens and yes i'm gonna say the whole name every time <laughs> I'm secretly hoping that people are just going to come to me um, yep. because they need help in their lives. Okay. Um, but I'm assuming that a lot of it is um, parents, you know, bringing in kids for appointments and maybe we're doing some workshops, um, you know, making uh, bunny bows or, um, you know, flower pressing or not that we have many flowers left. No, um, the, the, the the mass deforestation that you are infamous for has really, really ruined a lot of the fields <laughs> and flowers in the town that you could be picking and, and making into things. Yeah. But, you know, there's a lot of, there's a lot. And, and also like you're, you're at a place for wayward teens and this, this town is incredibly famous for alcohol. And so you just know, like there's, there's definitely an image problem possibly that, that because it's so associated with all of this stuff like that going on, that you you are concerned possibly uh, that you are you are uh, experiencing possibly some some drinking uh, that is at least stigmatized. Yeah. Hey, thank uh, you for I the donation. <laughs> uh, so Molly doesn't drink. All right. So uh, we have an auto success for both Eli and Molly when you need it. So is that next roll or is that uh, what have I put here? So that'll be. Uh, an auto success on your next roll. Oh. Thank you. <laughs> so, uh, thank you, Shahari. That is uh, that is auto success on your next roll for Eli and Molly. Okay. So, walking in, who who was actually coming to the the place uh, actually by by choice? Was that um Tyler? No, that was that was Lank, wasn't it? All right, Lank, you walk in. To the uh, to the Dry Creek YMCA for Wayward Teens, and uh, you know that this is the place where you you feel like you should have come, and and you know that Tyler was saying that it was maybe not the best thing to do, but you did it anyway, and you haven't seen him since that little fight you've had. Uh, but you walk up to the counter, and you can see Molly, probably one of the only people here, 
working because it's the 90s and everyone has uh, is way too buried in their tamagotchis uh <laughs> to to do any actual work these days it's just the newest fad between that pogs and pokemon cards everyone's <laughs> everyone's just got the equivalent of toy adhd what do we got so uh just just molly's just run up and like hi hi hello welcome welcome uh, thank you uh, for coming hi hi um um can i interest you in some um uh, label pressing we only have uh, beer labels at the moment because it's all I could get but um we can put them between this glass and we make little uh paintings for you to take home do you want to or we can have we can talk do you need to talk is there something going on I'm 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 fine I'm fine um I don't know about the pressing but I've I've got some marbles with me if anyone wants to wants to play I mean I mean I can I can play marbles I know how I'm cool, I'm cool. I, I I totally know all the kids games um if you want to get get the the uh, marble bubbles out. Okay. <laughs> so Molly, yeah. I'm picking cool. up that you really want this. Uh, really want Lank to like take a shine to you. Is that is that true? Yes. That okay. Is it's, a, it's it's not well. It, it, maybe maybe the desperation there comes out a bit from um <laughs> from Dano, uh, who you definitely know did not connect with you. But you got a bit of a dichotomy going on because you know Eli really did connect with you. Uh, and in in fact, that uh, Eli, let's say, has just run out of the uh, uh, of the Dry Creek YMCA for Wayward Teens uh, in a in a doors to where the community center is, and has like come up to like clutch your leg uh, because maybe Dano inside has upset them. Miss Mason, are you okay? Yeah, the scary one was really mean. <sighs> what do you do this time? I don't. I don't know what it means though, but he called me a bunny rabbit. A bunny rabbit? Yeah. Is it because you're so cute? No. Oh. Um, you, you, I'm sure that's what he meant. Some people get confused with their words and they the, say one thing, but they mean another. The bunny rabbits here are all evil. And they work for the mastermind. I mean, that's definitely unproven thus far. I'm sure that it was just a mistake. We can clear this up. Um, I'll, I'll talk to him. Did you want to play some marbles? Oh, yeah. I'm really good at marbles. Oh, you guys should play some marbles. And i go clear this up for you, all right? Okay. Hi, uh, I'm Eli. <laughs> hi, hi, Eli. I'm Lank. The weird name. Well, my name's... Archie or Archibald, but everyone calls me Lank because I'm tall. Oh. All right. <laughs> Have you played marbles before? Um, yeah. Cool. Let's play. Lank, Lank empties, like, goes over to a, an area that's obviously got no kids around uh, in, in, in using that area, and you'll... Uh, if there's a bit of cloth or something nearby because the marble bag doesn't open out it's just a hollow neck thing and he tips them all into the thing says you pick some that you like and we'll play okay these ones right. so what we do is we make a circle over there and then we try to pick the marble into the circle and knock any ones out of the circle and if you do that you win Okay. He goes over and um, uh, he's got a, in his bag, he's always got like a ball of strong twine. So he just, uh, and a pocket knife. So he cuts a length off that, makes a circle on the ground, puts the marble, uh, uh, like a handful of marbles in there and comes back, uh, I don't know, about four, four meters or so, puts another little piece of twine on the ground. You have to shoot from here. Otherwise, if we're too close, it's too easy. Right. I'll go first. So he gets a, uh, picks up a marble, puts it between his thumb and his finger, and flicks at the at the group of marbles in there, hoping to hit one in the center, uh, like in the center of them, and, and, and scatter them. All wow. right, could could you roll a uh, flight check for me with this weapon you are holding? Uh, flight is a d10. Yep, that's a two. That's a two. <laughs> well, even though this was a pretty easy check. 
your thumb goes astray and you flick that marble and it just shoots across the uh, community floor and uh, it lands at the feet, rolling right up to uh, this... uh, Let's say they have, like, Doc Martens with the really thick soles on them. They're, like, black as the night. And they go up. You see, like, (laughs) spikes on the sides of the shoes. And it, like, camera panning up to reveal uh, Conrad just standing there with, like, a really drab look on his face. Conrad, uh, what what do you look like if I haven't described this adequately? Um, I'd say in terms of uh, aesthetics, um, the only thing that you could change is that... the spikes aren't probably that pronounced, but everything else is probably on point. You got like a big swoopy hair and everything. I'd say it's probably more. I, don't, I want to say spiked up, just like like shocked up in a way. Oh, <laughs> so it's more like it's 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 less than it's less like a two thousands emo, and it's more like nineties punk rock goth. Yes, exactly. Like grungy, more grungy goth than uh, than like a like a emo goth. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. I'll dig that. Whoa! Uh, I didn't mean to do that. And he goes over to where Conrad is to pick up the marble and says, Oh, um, sorry. Um, does he actually, does he pick up the, uh, the marble? That's your choice, yeah. You can if you want. Um, I choose to pick up the marble before, uh, before he picks it up. Stares at it intently. And turns to him and say, You know this is probably going to rot your soul. And it's it's like a, it's like a really nice cat's eye, and maybe maybe it has like a little wispy uh, kind of energy to it, like a like a little cloudy cat's eye look to it. Okay, so um, Lank has a flaw called superstitious. He immediately does not want this marble back. Uh, uh, he takes three or four quick steps backwards, and he went, you, you 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 can keep it, and he just turns and goes back over to where Eli is. What are you doing? I uh, I told him he could keep the marble. He really liked the marble. It wasn't oh. my favorite, but I said he could keep it. That's so nice. I I try to be nice where I can. My turn. Eli's gonna throw a handful of marbles at the circle. Oh yeah. So a whole whole last <laughs> handful. handful. Yeah. All right. Can you roll? Can, oh, actually, would you? Uh, I was gonna say make a check, but you auto success it. Yeah. Uh, so you throw, and, and do you like actually just like haphazardly throw this? No, like a superhero would. Like I, I have a handful of. <laughs> and you're just like. Yeah. Uh, so you throw them, and you automatically see, succeed your flight check here. All of the marbles like expertly like bounce off each other. They bounce off walls. They go like way out of the circle's range. But the power that you have thrown these marbles just go, and they all somehow coalesce into the circle while knocking away every other marble you needed to in the game. And you just win this round. You feel like a (laughs) sense of like pride as your superpowers of marble throwing skills have come to your aid here and you have beaten everybody. That was, that was, that was pretty good. Thank you. You're you're a quick learner. Just brush it off. Uh, you do actually see that there is one marble that has actually g- rolled under the door of the uh, Dry Creek YMCA for Wayward Teens' uh, entrance. Oh, I'll, I'll get it. Okay, I'll get these others. All right. So, uh, uh, Tyler, what are you currently doing in this moment? <clears throat> uh, Tyler's just finished his um, vanilla rice. Ice Ice Baby move. Oh, nice. Place him quietly in the background. Yeah. Um, and he can't quite get the hair in the right direction. It it, it it just kind of flops and becomes a bit more Backstreet Boys. Mm-hmm. So he's kind of just combed into that kind of Backstreet Boys. Have you got like the noodle hair going and everything? Well, he's gone for the full kind of like... like yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> like that. Yeah, he's, yeah, he's yeah. He's weirdly blonde at the tips now. And yeah, he, yeah. And he thinks he's, he's, he's Nick from the Backstreet Boys at this stage. Okay. Um. The biggest challenge he's had is um, when he was doing the washing, all the kind of pastel colours, the, the patch pocket, the big stripes of colours there, Nan stuck something red in there and it's now kind of a off QE pink. So he's kind oh. of scrubbing in, in the back and desperately trying to bleach it out without destroying it and becoming too tie-dyed. But, hey, that's kind of a bit cool. But... Yeah, yeah, it's a little bit tie-dye almost. You're, you're thinking it's uh, it actually could work. So... um. 
So Tyler, are you actually in the center at the moment? Because I know that you didn't want to go there with Lank. Are you outside doing this in a basin or something nearby? Uh, well, um, bizarrely enough, near the Dawn Fraser Memorial. Okay. Um, there is, and near there, thanks. There's these kind of runoffs from the breweries and they apparently are, are going really into the creek. good to get stains out of things. Okay. So let's, oh, so you're, you're going to like the nearby, it's called, it's literally called Runoff Creek. Yeah. And, and you've gone down to Runoff Creek to, to put your, your shirt yeah, and give it in the scrub. hoppy water. Yeah. All right. Cool. So uh, you see, you are, uh, you actually see, like you look back over at the, um, at the uh, the Dry Creek YMCA for Wayward Teens, and you you notice that uh, someone comes out chasing something. Who was chasing that marble just then? All right, Eli. You see Eli uh, run over, and the, and the, the marble actually like just it, it 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 came out with force. So it went down the hill and started rolling down this little steppy pathway. And you're sitting here watching this six year old kid almost trip, almost stumble all the way down the bottom of these stairs. And then they do. In fact, actually I'll, I'll let this, uh, this be a check for Eli. Eli, could you make a check? Uh, uh, let's say a light check to see if you, are uh, if you, uh, trip over here. Seven. Seven. All right, so you see Eli just catch themselves on a nearby bin, and they're like hanging off it, uh, and they and they 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 just they're hanging there, but you can see the marble like comes or stop right near them, and you think they may have hurt themselves. You're not sure, but they may have. Uh, you see four other people like run out of the community hall at this point. You see Lank, you see Dano, you see uh, Conrad, and you see Molly all run out looking for them. But because he's because uh, Eli's run down a hill, they can't see him, and they're starting to look for this little six-year-old kid. Okay. Um, given I expressly said to Lank not to go there in the first place. Oh yeah, you have seen Lank go there now. I'm assuming my flaw of being hot-tempered kicks in. Yep. And uh, I'm going to make an irrational team thing. So I was going to go and help out the little dude that, that is sprawled across the floor. Yep. But. <laughs> They're looking for the little kid? They seem to be looking for Eli, yes. Okay. Uh, I'll call the little kid over. Uh, I'll, wa- I'll, I'll, wa- I'll wave, wave over. Um, yeah, small kid. Eli, you I'm see, uh, you see Tyler uh, waving you over. They've, they, you know, they've, they've got their shirt. Uh, you know, it's mostly wet, uh, and they're trying to like scrub it off. They're wearing like their jacket over the top, uh, and they're kind of like waving you over to, um, to, uh, to the creek. Let's play hide. Let's play hide. All right. So at this point, at this point, uh, what are the four of you doing? You, you, Eli is missing and has completely just disappeared. Uh, Lank finishes gathering up all the other marbles, putting them back into the bag, except the one that he gave away. Mm-hmm. Um, and then he'll turn around and see where everyone's at. All right. Everyone looks like to run out of the door and they're calling like, Eli, Eli, where are you? <laughs> Ugh, we're seriously going to have to look for this kid, won't we? <sighs> Where are you, bunny rabbit? <laughs> All right. I'm mid, mid going up to Daniel and just, I've got a pamphlet um, that says something <laughs> about, you know, um, being disrespectful and a mean teen. Um, <laughs> That's you and me. <laughs> you and me. Um, let's talk about it. And I've got up to him and I'm saying, did you call Eli a bunny rabbit yeah look miss it's not my fault he was jumping around like a little rabbit what do you expect me to do um not to call him any names thank you very much what's wrong with bunny rabbit miss well look i don't think that he took that the correct way you know that he thinks well he thinks bunny rabbits are some sort of evil how's that my problem stupid little kid's imagination walks past while reading the book going he's right you know I mean, I mean, Miss Miss, what's a what's a name, Miss? It's just a sound you make to attract someone's attention. Well, his sound is Eli, and it is respectful to call people by their names, Daniel. And I'll go hand you the pamphlet. 
Don't ever call me Daniel, miss. Oh, <laughs> did you not like being called Daniel? No, and I also don't like flaws in my logic being pointed out. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> so um, you can see that... Uh, it, it, uh, hmm. Tyler and Eli, where are you going right now? Are you are you, uh, are you still just hiding around? Uh, so it's a six year old kid, and Tyler feels mildly guilty after that kind of initial like let's just mess with everybody's head. Um, is there a safer way out the creek, somewhere that, that's slightly more child friendly rather than the possibly toxic, bunny infested creek? Yeah, yeah. So. You step out of the creek now and you can see like, it's, it looks like there's a little like walkway next to the creek that has some stairs that, that Eli did come up. And um, uh, do, I, you, do I know Eli's at uh, where Eli's home is? You know roughly where Eli lives. Yeah, you think you could deliver him home okay. if you needed to. I, I'll do the, the, the bit where you're not quite sure how to, to approach a six-year-old as a, as a 16-year-old and you kind of lean in, lean out and like, look, little dude, do you want to go home? Fine. Yes. Why? Oh, isn't it like nap like 4 time? PM. Yeah. Yeah, like nap time? Then you have to go and do <laughs> nap I'm stuff? I'm six. Oh. <laughs> and every time Tyler's talking to you, he's trying to put more more bass in his voice to make himself sound older. Oh, like, like, yeah. Kid. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, kid. My parents aren't home. Right. Are you supposed to be at school? Are you... No, I'm at the care centre. Uh, um, okay. Uh... They look after me until mum and dad get home from work. Let's get you back to the care centre then. But watch out. I thought we were hiding. We are hiding. We're going to sneak back around and then okay. get you back to the classroom. Yeah. All right, can you two both make... Uh... What's this going to be? This is going to be another... This is going to be a brains check. I'm going to... Because they are directly looking for you. I want you to use your brains to collectively work out how to... Ooh, D6. (laughs) Not a smart roll. D8 and D6. The kid's smarter than Tyler. (laughs) All right. Two and... What do we got? Two and seven. All right. The two and seven. Oh, was that an eight? Sorry. It appears I can't count. (laughs) Uh, Maybe I need to go to the... (laughs) Uh, Okay. So with an eight... Eli, you actually know a secret little pathway that you usually, like, you can see maybe Dano always taking to get out of here. And uh, you think this might be the way to get back. Come with me. Um, I offer uh, <laughs> Eli my the sleeve of my wet shirt. But you know the warehouse kids have those ropes that hold yeah. each other together? Yeah, yeah. Kind of offer you a thing and say, there you go, dude, hold this and guide me through. So right, I don't so get you. lost. Eli, you are you are you start making your way through this little back path down the creek uh, that you've seen Dano take hundreds of times. Meanwhile, <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Thank you, George. I'll get to that oh, in a sec. No. Okay, so oh my god, that's fantastic. Okay, so um, you uh you continue down the secret pathway. Uh, uh Lank, Dano. Uh, Conrad and Molly, what are you guys doing? Are you actually actively looking for Eli right now? Because I'll let you make a check together on this. And if you beat an eight, if any of you beat an eight, you will see where they're going. Um, um, what would we need okay. for the roll for... Uh, uh, let's say this one will be a... Perception is hard in this game. Let's say grit. Because it's saying street smarts. Grit. Okay, that will take like a full thing. Um, yeah. But if but if no one finds Eli, then something else terrible is probably... Yeah, if, if no one will compromise the research. Exactly. I mean, probably All right, I'm gonna go kind for of it. looking for Eli, but I'm also, like, talking to Conduit, being like, no, nah, man, gold Tarzos are made up by the chip company so that you buy more chips. They don't really exist, man. All right. <laughs> you know that the Dragon Ball Z edition of Tarzos is just about to drop as well, and you know you really oh, need, like, a yeah. golden Shenron Tarzo to complete your collection. Okay, um, D8. All right, so uh, anyone who would like to make a grit check uh, may do so. Five. (laughs) Cool. That's that's Lang's thing. Fifteen. Fifteen? Lang, you got a fifteen? 
Molly, did you do one in the end? Grit, grit is his thing. Um, I have that auto success. Oh, okay. So Molly and Lank, you spot you spot Eli actually leading a teenager that Molly, you know who this is, and Lank, you know who this is. This is Bloody Tyler. Bloody Tyler uh, has somehow tricked this kid, but for some reason the kid is leading Tyler because the kid is smarter than Tyler for some reason. Uh, uh, up to, like, it, it actually looks to be uh, a, a little a little cubby house thing that you know belongs to some some other random teens that are in the town here. You know that uh, sometimes they can cause a bit of a ruckus, but uh, you know that's that's uh, for Eli and Tyler to kind of run into at this point because they don't know. They are definitely heading in that direction. Bolt, I'm after him. You bolt after him. All right, so you yep. can. Uh, what's everyone else doing? You following? Yeah, follow. All right, so you can you can uh, head down, and you find this like makeshift, kind of like cobbled together like hideout for a bunch of other local kids. You know that they start like, like uh, it, it's not like a gang, but it's kind of a gang. It's like it's like the the most. It's, it's like the most lackluster version of a gang you could think of, but they are like mean kids. And you know their leader is is a, a just a mean girl. She is she is a terrible influence on those people around her. And uh, you see Eli run up into the hideout and Tyler just goes, oh, shit. And you know who's in here. You hear, you, you hear like a, Ew, what is this kid doing in here from inside? Oh, they're, they're, so um, Tyler kind of straightens up and then does tries to do the cool thing of tying his, his slightly damp, dripping shirt around his waist to kind of give him that little <laughs> bit of an edge in there and, and straighten, straightens up and is like, gives Eli that kind of weird look of, I thought you knew we were going, look. Oh, yeah, yeah. Eli has absolutely seen this cubby and and, and other kids, like, escaping from the uh, Dry Creek YMCA for Wayward Teens before. Are we right behind them or far off? Uh, you're kind of about to cut them off at a diagonal. Oh, okay. Do you like some of my gummy worms? And then you, you look up at this, like, this, like, really, uh, it, it, like, uh, you know, she's wearing a flannel and you can see, like, a pack of Winnie Blues, like, sticking out <laughs> the top of her, uh, her pocket. And she's about to, like, light one up and you can see Sophie Monk staring back at you, like, the, the local <laughs> town bully. And she's just like, what do you want, you little brat? I would like to pay my entrance fee, please. Give I me have gummy entrance worms. entrance fee. Well, last time I was here, I got a bottle of liquid that tasted really bad and slightly like bunnies um, in exchange for gummy worms and my sandwich that mum made. Okay, first off, who gave you the bunny liquid? Because that's not for kids. Oh, I drank it. You drank it? Bunny liquid? You drank it? (laughs) Yeah. Did you tell anyone you drank it? The guy who gave it to me. Yeah, but like... After that, I need to check my backpack to see if I'm missing my vial of bunny blood. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll be like, after that, did you tell anyone or did you just get, did you just say this tastes bad and throw it out? No, I finished it. Okay. Well, you got to keep that to yourself next time, okay? Make sure no one knows about it. Otherwise, people should, um, people should, you know, stay out of our clubhouse. Uh, I, Eli, didn't tell, I didn't tell anyone. Side note, Eli. Thank you, Boogie202. Uh, Eli gets another auto success nice. uh, for your next roll. <laughs> nice. Okay, so I'll forgive you this time, but as long as you don't tell anyone, who the hell is that? And then points at, like, the shadow clearly outside the cub. Uh, and and Tyler, you have been acknowledged. Oh, that that's my Sophie friend. Sophie Monk, of all people, has recognized you. <laughs> that's my friend. Okay, bring him in because he's in trouble as well. Oh, really? (laughs) Yeah. Why? Because you can't just come around to the cubby house, otherwise you'll be invited all the time, huh? But We got secret stuff going on here. But why? Because we don't allow snotty little stupid kids here. Why? Because you're uncool and you're in your little cape and you're in your little beanie and you think that's the way to live your life, but you don't know nothing yet. 
You got to yeah. get to at least 17 years old before you know anything in life. Everyone knows that. All right. Okay. So we're on the same page. Yeah, you're going to let my friend in. <laughs> All right, bring him in. Tyler. Uh, Tyler makes his way through. He's he's uh, oh. he tightened the t-shirt a little bit just to try and give him a bit, a bit more muscle definition at this point in time. Yeah, and uh, he's kind of looking everywhere but Sophie Monk. Oh, are you? Can you roll a quick? Um, can you roll a quick grit check for me? <laughs> oh yes, a D twelve. <laughs> A D12. A D12. <laughs> That'd be a seven on a D12. A D12. <laughs> um, on a seven on a D12. Hey, you notice a uh, an unopened six pack of what looks to be the possible experimental new flavors of uh, of Dry Creek Brewery yeah. sitting on the shelf over there. It's like hidden a little bit, but you've spotted it. It's got like a golden label and all the cans seem to be gold as well. Very shiny and very peculiar. Okay. Um, is it within Eli's line of sight? Yes, yes. No, oh, uh, uh, no, no. Eli would probably serve as a very good distraction here. Yeah, no, no. I just want... I'm now worried because I've just heard Eli, like, sipping the local stuff. So yeah, I'm yeah. super concerned that he's going to see gold... Eli's going to see gold cans and go for them. Oh, fair. No, I would say no, it's out of Eli's sight. <laughs> uh, but... You're thinking that if you could uh, you could sneak around the back of Eli and kind of pocket those or put them under your jacket coat. Yeah. Or even actually in the wet shirt you just had. Yeah, that, that was it. It was kind of like, well, uh, there is a, a a pretty mean girl in front of me and a yeah. six-year-old that, that seems to be holding his own against the attractive Absolutely, girl. yeah. Yeah, it's like, oh, oh you know, uh, Tyler's not really what we put down as a thinker. Yeah. more of a, as a doer um but yeah those cans look good uh, they probably impress aforementioned sophie munk i believe her name was yeah sophie monk yeah um so yeah so so, so do the bit where you put your hand on on, on the kind of little kid shoulders and then yeah. use them as the, like a human shield to kind of shift it around to just change the conversation okay so but i spin around so i've got my back to the cans okay what do you say? Oh wait, so are you are you are you interjecting in this conversation here? Uh, no, I'm a 16 year old. There's an attractive there's an attractive member of the oh, opposite oh, sex okay. talking. So I have You're no like, idea really what to say apart from yeah, cool. <laughs> and then using <laughs> Eli, you, well, who seems well, to be doing well. If you wanna if you wanna interject and say yeah, cool as your charm check, I would allow it. <laughs> yeah, cool. <laughs> yeah, D8. cool. Yeah, yeah, cool. What's up? Yeah. What's up, girl? And you put on like a completely different voice to yourself. Yeah, just try and drop a <laughs> yeah, couple cool. more baritones. Yeah, 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 yeah cool, cool girl. Like you did with Eli, but like in an actual suave way. No, <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, uh, well, not with a oh, not with a natural one. I won't. <laughs> oh no, you lean yeah, over, cool girl. And uh, yeah, no, I'm literally going with that. Uh, you, your voice, uh, it goes to the too low register of your of your baritone, and it's like, yeah, cool. And, uh, and and your voice crackles. The four of you hear this and know that Tyler has also gone into the cubby house here with a narrative complication. So all four of you now know exactly where he's gone and you can hear Sophie Monk yelling at this kid. Right there. All right. Molly, you burst into the door. You see <sighs> Sophie Monk and her like silent but deadly entourage in the background. Uh, you can you can see uh, her her best friend George Goldfeder and her other best friend. Uh, 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 give me another name. Give me another name. <laughs> Greg Page. Yeah. <laughs> Greg Page. Greg Page. Look at the chat. Oh. <laughs> okay. Okay. So thank you, Talera, yeah. for the other NPC idea. Uh, we have. Uh, so Greg Page, is that, is that the yellow one? That was the original yeah. yellow one, yes. All right, you see Greg Page, who is dressed in a yellow shirt and apparently a really big fan of the Wiggles, uh, uh, standing beside. So you got George Goldfeder and Greg Page standing behind Sophie Monk. Why don't, you, <laughs> why don't you want my gummy worms? Uh, and uh, you you see Sophie just, like, look around at her friends and just go, because we don't eat crap like that. <laughs> uh, and, excuse me, language. Uh... Uh, well, that sounds like doing? the call sign of the bloody rich spawn of the Monk Inc. 
and brewing that's, company. And that sounds like the loser spawn of the loser company. Why are you even here? Are I'll you go the, make love to a tinny. Don't, t don't, 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 even, don't even tell me that nice you guys are all hanging out together like a bunch of loser squad. Do you not even have your own friends? Look at you. You're all in different grades and you're all hanging out. That's not socially acceptable. And you hear George just like picking his nose in the background with an audible, an audible pop. Hey, don't be mean to my friends. Yeah, besides, you don't even have your own house. You live in the forest. What is it? You can't buy a home loan. We don't need a home loan because we have built our stuff out of environmentally conscious stuff. And you're not connected to the street at all. Can't do it. Good Can't for you. Do Can't do it. Ke careful. She, oh? she beat us up last time. <laughs> you, 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 uh, you hear George going like, yeah, and I'll beat you up again. Shit, he heard. He's like my cracking, mom says like cracking not his to, wrists. My mum says not to pick my nose because then I'll get nosebleeds. Yeah, well, I've, I've not punched a kid before, but I'd love to try if you don't get out of here. Yeah, I'll take you. You want to go? <laughs> yeah. So, so, so this just in: George Vetter, Goldfeder squares off against a kid, and uh, and like <laughs> tries to puff out his chest, real tough guy like. Yeah. Ooh, what are you gonna do? Good about acting. It? Eli fixes his like superhero. What are you gonna clothes? do? I'm gonna put you in jail. And uh, and then he's like, "All right, I'm I'm a gentleman." I'll let I'll let the uh, I'll let the attacker go first. Um, was this is going on despite the fact that I'm not really the biggest fan of Eli? I really would like to see George go down, so I'd like to try and like quietly slip around the back of George. Yeah, and do yeah. That thing where you kneel on all fours so someone can push oh, them backwards yeah. over you. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. You can do that. Okay. Um, he makes a move. I'm a I'm a pop him. I'm going to just pop him <laughs> That's straight fair. up. You can absolutely <laughs> deck George Goldfeder in the face if you want to. So ready. E Eli's going to make the first move and he's going to punch uh, George because he's a superhero. Yeah, yeah. But Eli is the six-year-old and stands about Oh, this no. Time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, go on. This is um, a, yep. Also, I older succeed, so... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. So Eli, with the most <laughs> fight or brawn, whatever it is, ever, um, gives like a punch to George at the you, height so, that so Eli you're, can manage. You're at, you're at hip height, aren't you? Yep. <laughs> All right. All right. Role play this for me. Oh. You auto succeed and you, you square up to George and you just smack him straight in the nuts. Yeah. And then he stumbles backwards. I'll let you role play it out. I don't even know what you like. I think he like just like doesn't say anything. Just punch it. Bam! Yeah, they don't. Oh. He don't maybe that's it. He like your reaction time is is completely uh, dependent on you. Just don't you don't you don't like you don't trash talk or anything. You just put out your fist and punch yeah. him right in the nuts. Yeah, and then he falls over. Uh, Dano. All right, so he falls backward, and uh, you see Dano just like kneeling over beside him. And he just like tumbles over and you can see like a bunch of their like leftover like tinny cans or whatever, like all just like fall on him. He looks like a bloody loser. You know, that old George oh. Goldfeder. And um, so... <laughs> like, like, Lank looks at uh, the, the, the Wiggles guy and goes right in the hot potatoes. Yeah. Yeah. And he goes... Oh. Bit of a oh. No, I can't come up with anything. Uh, so, good, good uh, will always prevail. Good versus evil. Evil will be triumphed. And uh, actually, there you go. I don't know about good. And then he runs over, gets one of the uh, the cans with a, a lid still on it. Um, goes over to uh, to George Goldfeder, crouches down, <laughs> knee to chest, and says to him, "Okay, there are two options here now. You can either leave this cult right now, or I try to make something sharp out of this and drain a little bit of your blood." Ooh, can you make a, uh, ooh, 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 ooh. You should do what he says. What bloody check is that? That's a, let's say a brains check. Brains check? Okay. Oh, Thank no, you. reading the emotions. Uh, it'll be a charm, but it'll be like an intimidate charm. Um, hold on. Uh, intimidate charm. So how does yeah, that yeah. work? It'll just be a charm check. Okay. That's probably not going to be brilliant. All right. Three. Oh. Can I help? Uh, yeah, let's say if you help, you can add your role to to yeah, Conrad's. Because so, I, I, I have, uh, I'm good with loyalty. 
Okay. And oh, so oh I, I like can, that. Nice. Yeah, I can give um, any of my friends plus two adversity token. Okay, so plus two adversity. So an adversity token, I should have said this before, but we've forgotten. I love the role play. So uh, if, <laughs> if ever you fail a check, you get called what's an adverse, uh, what's called an adversity token and uh, just stockpile those. I think you can only ever have like three at once, but every adversity token you spend on a roll and you can't spend more than one, you get plus one to that roll. AJ has just given you plus two on your roll, uh, effectively, so that, Mitch. So that would be a total of five then. Yes, yeah, so a five is pretty good. They are fairly scared by this, and you can see, uh, you can see uh, the Greg Page from uh, with the with the wiggle shirt, uh, just go, oh, two, two, chugga, chugga, get the fuck out of here, and he just like runs <laughs> at this point, uh, and he he just books it. You see Sophie just like standing there, just going like, I'll be back, you you little shits, and then yeah, just, like, yeah, ride the whole just, day like, leave. long, get out of here. George, like, dusts off all the crap, and he's like, no, I'm going to get you for this. I'm going to get you so bad, and I'm going to punch your nose out, you little shit, and just, like, run. Have fun being a sacrifice. <laughs> and uh, their, their hideout is completely uh, bare now. What is a sacrifice? Rolls over, does a very light, doesn't actually pat, but, like, pats the air <laughs> towards her head and goes, I will need to tell you when you're older. No earlier than that. <laughs> okay. Pinky promise? Yeah, sure, whatever. That's pinky promise. All this right. is for life. <laughs> you feel the I bond know. of a pinky promise wash <laughs> over you as you make your promise, your sacred vow, the one that can never be broken. Yeah. And a gust of wind flies over the valley going... <laughs> as, you, uh, as you make your, your solemn vow. Like being the superstition. Gets starts writing down up. notes. And it's getting up dusting himself up. Pinky promise equals magic? Yeah. Question mark. <laughs> so, like, right, Tyler it could was, be shorter than you yeah. think if they get hold of you again. Yeah. So, so Tyler was, was you know, um, getting ready to go through all the normal conversations that could start before a fight with George. Yeah. And then just watch you, like, just punch him straight in the, the crown jewels. Right in the jewels, yeah. Yeah, it was kind of standing up there trying to square off there and just watch basically a six-year-old demolish, you know, <laughs> Uh, Absolutely. Like, oh, and it's kind of mildly deflating to the 16 year old ego. He's like, oh, uh, uh, and then suddenly there's a teacher in the room. Um, <laughs> but there's those cans behind him that looked intriguing. So um, with the back of the shirt, I'll just hook the cans underneath the back of the shirt like I'm shoplifting badly. Okay. Oh, you take them out or you put them under? No, put them under. Put them under the, okay, the, okay. the, the, the kind of shirt. Um, so you take a little look at these, and it, it actually is a, it's, it's like a promotional pack. Of uh of uh six packs of uh the new the new hopping mad uh brewery beer, and you know that this is some really interesting stuff because there's a there's a rumor going around town that there's some bunnies uh that could be flavoring this, uh because you've also seen and you don't know if this is like a a, a correlation or if the bunnies that you know seem to be drunk all the time. Uh, are doing it but you, every time you go down to the creek and you even saw it just now you actually see uh little little uh tufts of like poof ball hair all around the creek edges like it's washed up yeah look tyler tyler tyler, tyler has a lot of things going for him but <laughs> yeah. you know intellect and presence of mind at the time eli's just said that he shrank a can so tyler kind of just pops one over and then kind of Pretending to hide it a little bit in front of the teacher was like, "Did you drink one of these?" Yeah. Eli. And you pull out. You do you pull out one of the the beers? Yeah, yeah he's he's not that that really intellectually you know present most of the time. So Eli, this doesn't look like the same one that you had uh, mistakenly had, uh, and and so what has happened is this this one's like fully gold and it has in big like font on there like overlapping most of the label win. Like win, you could win. Wow, it's shiny. Hmm. I can't read. What does that say? Molly, you just watched a kid pull out a beer and show it to another kid. I'm really like, <laughs> I'm trying to be cool because it's like mm, I want the, I want the teenagers to kind of resolve their own disputes. At the same time, I'm just like inching closer to um, the two of them just to be like, watch the interaction. Um, I didn't drink that one. That okay. one's special. Um, well, I'll read now the you can. have confirmation oh. that a kid has been drinking beer. Yeah. 
<laughs> Again, missing the, 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 the content of what's going on here. And because Eli just asked him to read it, Tyler, Tyler start reading the can, like win, W-I-N. And this competition win. is for... So the competition is for a, if you find the golden stubbies, there are only six in existence, you can win an all expenses paid tour and trip to not only the uh, Dry Creek town, the famous town, in fact, for the big, uh, the big oak barrel slash swimming pool. Uh, you can also have a tour of the Willy Wanker's Tinny Factory. Which is uh, the pseudo name for the brewery here? Um, so yeah, uh, again, Tyler's honest, ruggedly handsome teenage face with a bit of acne on it, kind of reads this out loud <laughs> in front of the six-year-old, and then gets to the ah <laughs> uh, the t- and then stops, literally just stops and says uh, the brewery, <laughs> and then tries to shove it in a pocket somewhere. P- Tyler. Oh, yes, miss. Do you think that you should maybe <laughs> first not be showing the shinies to the six-year-old? And second, what's that in your pocket? Uh, you don't have to answer that, mate. Molly, can you roll <laughs> she doesn't a... doesn't have any authority uh, here. Can you roll <laughs> a brains check for me, Molly? <laughs> oh, no, that's a that's my day four. <laughs> Do any of oh, us no. at all see the uh, the golden tinny? Uh, yeah, yeah, everyone can see the golden tinny. If anyone else would like to uh, notice something in particular about that, can you roll a brains check for me? Okay. Oh, that's a four. Yeah, Mitch, is almost like promotional held. Brains, huh? <laughs> brains check one. All right, so anyone get above a five? I got a 20. <laughs> you got a natural nine. 20? Holy yes, cow. I did. All right, so natural 20. Hey, Conrad, you noticed that all of the cans are in that six pack are pink. No, it's not pink, are gold. I got distracted by the uh, candle that got held up. Um, uh, every every can in that six pack is gold. Chaps, do you, no. Guys, do you know exactly what we have? We just have ourselves a ticket into the bloody factory. Something that I've been trying to get into for years. And And you see written on the six pack, it says, to the people who find the six golden stubby cans scattered across Australia in different six packs will win this prize. With your natural 20, (laughs) you have very clearly put together that whatever worker in the factory was mixing these into the what various a bunch packs, of num nuts. <laughs> they accidentally or intentionally went, nah, fuck it. And they put all of the winning cans in the same six pack. Guys, blame... Blame either luck or the six-day week, but we just got ourselves a ticket. You suspect that the six-day week is very responsible for this lazy <laughs> endeavor of winners. I'm going it's to hold out my hand for the six-pack. Yes, I've been can try- we go? I've been can trying to, to examine factory? this factory for years, trying to get inside there, because I think that something funky is going down there. Yeah, that's well, where they take the bunny. This is going to be our ticket in. Yeah. You know- I think on a on a beer competition you must be eighteen plus to enter. It says no? open to all ages in really large oh, font on God. the can. <laughs> you cannot I'm blame so the writing. Interested. You think that you might cannot be an doubt it. on the company's behalf. <laughs> Miss, Miss Mason, please can we go? You can take us. Look. Yeah. All right, all right. Look, I I will escort you if that's what you really want, but we're not drinking this beer. It doesn't taste good anyway. You okay, not be we don't have to drink it. Yeah. Yeah, it's then I open all of them and tip it all onto the floor. All right, oh, you tip them all onto the floor. So it happy. smells great. Hey, you didn't want us to drink it. Let's give it back to the earth. And you see I- it jo- You yeah. see it joining in to the rest of the creek, <laughs> uh, runoff creek, uh, knowing that Molly... That was your favorite type of beer. You knew you were going to love to drink that one day, but Conrad has absolutely crushed your dreams <laughs> on that one. But luck would have it that you are, all six of you are winners of the golden six pack of stubbies uh, to go into Whoa! the factory. I mean, it looks like whatever. the winner is also going to cool, be announced very soon. Uh, even, even like the second you hand them in, they'll probably just give you a tour. We should go now. 
You sure you want to go there, little guy? It's dangerous for bunnies at the brewery. <laughs> what was that, Daniel? I'm a superhero. I can take care of myself. Well, it makes a compelling argument. Okay, the demon bunnies won't harm her. Yep. <laughs> I was just catching up with the conversation just about after the cans have just been emptied. Oh. Sorry, say again? Yep. Yeah, Tyler's just caught up with the conversation. <laughs> oh, okay. He's just literally like <laughs> Fair enough. pulling it through and then realises that, that Conrad's just taking the cans off him. He's like, oh, yeah. Kind of gives him the nod of that. And then watch him pause it and looks a bit confused about it all. Um, all right. It's because I'm put a hand onto his shoulder and go, it's okay, Spawn, we want a trip to a factory. Yeah, just because I'm real obnoxious. So I'm just going to be like, oh, hey, Tyler, that was really smooth. With Sophie. <laughs> All right, so uh, you think it'd be good to get out of here just in case Sophie Monk and her her uh, little gang of goonies comes back, and uh, so you you make your way into the evening, and uh, it it's a uh, looks like you might be able to go there in the morning, possibly to claim your prize. Okay, right, so I need permission slips from everyone, please. Checking yeah, with no. the parents. <laughs> yes, miss. You hand out a number of permission slips. Uh, it Just actually, it actually looks like these permission slips are very generic, <laughs> as to not rouse suspicion uh, for the literal taking of a beer factory uh, <laughs> by an adult taking a bunch of minors. Uh, <laughs> so uh, you go home, you sign your permission slips. That people in I these forge this mine. You forge yours. People in this Same. town, like, like Eli, maybe, like, literally, do you just literally tell the truth of where you're going? Or are you are you secretive about it? Um, my parents weren't home, so I wrote my name in crayon. Okay, cool. Uh, so it looks like, uh, it, it looks like the, the, it went off without a hitch and you don't really see any problems. You come back and Molly this next morning looks across them. Clearly Conrad and, and Eli have like absolutely wrote their names in, but you're like, oh, look, I'm covered this way legally. So, you know, it's loose at best, <laughs> but I'll, I'll says, take it. Literally no one else is supposed to know that this is happening. So she's yeah. going to be the only one who has to check them. And she's just yeah. like, fuck it. Yeah, she like, like it's pretty and, slack. Not going to lie. Back I just want to win over the kids. Yeah. <laughs> uh, in the morning... You hear the crows and the roosters call as uh, as to signify that sun is up, so everybody needs to get the fuck up now. Uh, you head down uh, as as actually uh, you head down to the uh, to the brewery's uh, main open doors, and it sits right on the edge of the forest, the local forest that's here, really close to the lake. And you know that the the brewery is so massive, it kind of takes up uh, takes up quite about half of the hill on this and that's how runoff creek starts and uh you you more or less line up at these doors and it goes uh, it, it has these big big uh, big golden arch gates that have like beer cans lining the top of it it looks like someone hasn't designed this they've just stuck them on the top or like pikes uh and one other thing that you notice is a little trail that goes into the woods here and they have a fresh set of footprints how big are the footprints uh, you know, an adult shoe size. Yeah. Hey, is this where the mare goes into the woods? Hmm. Uh, you can roll a you could roll a brains check oh, on yeah. that one. Oh you, you yeah, that rumor. Uh, ten. Okay. It's a nine. Isn't that one? Okay, uh, that's a nine. Fourteen. Fourteen and nine. All right. This looks like All the right. same kind of stilettos. Uh, with stilettos? Are they stilettos? Mary could wear whatever heels. he or she wants. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what they like, want. It looks like there's there's like a fresh set of stilettos like heading into the woods. You don't know why someone would wear those, but Definitely they are not in mud. No, not at all. Wildly it is in the mud too. It's not practical at all. But that's why you kind of notice them. They're very peculiar shoe sizes. Okay, so huh. you see a man dressed in like a shabby really crappy looking uh, cardigan walk out and he's wearing thongs and he's got probably a brew in his hand not a coffee brew like a like a beer brew in like a in like a mug and he's sipping at it he's got really sunken eyes he's got a top hat on 
but from years of neglect and probable like smushing of it in his travels, kind of hangs to the side a little bit and looks really ratty. Got a good hunch on him. And he walks up and he's like, Hey, what do you want? I looked up to him, point my finger, look to someone else and go, Isn't that the mayor? Does it look mayor? like the mayor? <laughs> uh, 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 it, it, you, you think it could be the mayor, but it, it looks like possibly their brother or their family member. But you know that the mayor had quite an in with the, uh, with the, uh, the whole brewery here. So you think it could be their twin brother, Willie? I can see the resemblance. Yeah, no. Are you... What? It's like seven in the morning. What do you want? I saw a magic show once where someone pulled a bunny out of a hat like that. Oh, well, nothing in here except tinny cans, mate. You're just like... <laughs> <laughs> what keeps the form factor? Um, we're here for the... I bring out we one won. of the golden tinnies and go, oh, you mean like one of these tinnies? Oh, where'd you get those? Oh, it's not supposed to close for another three months. And them. What do you mean you found it? Just like Ow. in this town. I recognize you little from around. I'm not going to say that word, but uh, <laughs> I recognize you from around here. What? We got him from my, I got mine from my dad. He didn't want to come today. Oh, shouldn't have put all the ages on the can. I, f- I found mine in a drain. Yeah, I bet you did, mate. I bet you did. <laughs> I, nicked one, right, off your ha- right. I nicked one off your half daughter. <laughs> all right. Uh... Nice. Uh, you know, uh, you come on in, mate. So, uh, I'll just get this over. We look, it'll be like half an hour. And I really shouldn't be doing this for kids, but uh, I guess it says all ages and legally required to. It's all right. Come into the factory. I'll give you your tour and then you can bugger her off. All right. We, we've got a guardian and I'll point to, 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 to Molly. Hi. Uh, hey, Molly. How you going, love? I'm good. How are you? Oh, I feel like an ass. Oh, I'm what sorry. Is it? What does that mean? Bad. I'll tell you when you're older. Ah. Well, when I've had a few, either way, one of the two will happen sooner or later. <laughs> I think it means he's feeling very tired. Ass I'm means pretty... bad and tired. Got it. Yeah. I'm pretty. Um. Yeah. I'm pretty bad and tired, mate. All right. <sighs> Come on in then, and uh, you start like walking up this uh, massive walkway. There's a huge courtyard. It's very elegant looking for how how drab and shabby this guy looks, right? And uh, as you lead, as you walk up to the main doors and head into the the, the, the reception, uh, so you can be uh, uh, notified of entry, we should probably cut to a little break here. We'll take a little five minute break, if 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 we can have a little go to the loo and whatnot. So uh, we'll be back in five minutes, and we will return with the golden stubby as they enter Willy Wanker and the Tinny Factory. All right, see you.
All right. Hey, welcome back, everyone. We are still on the Kids on Bikes bandwagon. And can I get, just for the people who have just joined us, this is Kids on Bikes game. We have made this story pretty much in the first 40 minutes of the show. And we're doing this for charity, so you can donate and influence the games. Like, give people auto successes or auto fails or give us new NPCs in town to meet, such as Sophie Monk and Greg the Yellow Wiggle. <laughs> and uh, yeah, who who would like to... Uh, AJ, AJ, I will say, give a little recap of our adventure so far. <laughs> um, okay, four teens, a six-year-old, and a guidance counsellor from the local uh, community centre... Uh, <laughs> found themselves winning tickets to Willy Wanker's brewery house. What's the full? Oh yeah, it's, uh, so effectively, this adventure has turned into Willy Wanker and the Tinny Factory. Yes, Perfect. Willy Wanker's brow, brow house. Yeah, brow yeah. House. Um, there may have been some some underage drinking, throwing marbles, uh, bl uh, blood sacrifice threats. There were blood. Uh, <laughs> there wasn't punch punching, drawn, just punching a threat a bully, to do so. Punching a bully in in the gonads, uh, facing off with a, a rather villainous Sophie Monk, uh, and now we face off with a very drunk or hungover Possibly Aussie both. bloke yeah. who runs the uh, the tinny factory. All right, so yeah, that's where we'll pick up. You just entered Willy Wanker's tinny factory, and uh, he's like. Uh, you know, um, oh, bloody hell. Oh, my head. Okay, so can you lot sign, uh, a bunch of NDA forms for us? Uh, okay, just make sure you don't tell anyone about what you've seen in here today, just in case you see some experimental stuff. Uh, and, uh, I need you to sign some waivers that if you get drunk on premises, it is not my fault, uh, because there is a lot of alcohol on board here. And I do not want to be responsible for one, two, three, four, five underage lawsuits. Because if I don't see it and you bloody do it, then it's my ass. Um, uh, Tyler looks to, to Dano because he's sitting about four minutes beforehand and kind of just looks at him for a bit. Pretty sure when he's saying on board, he means on in him. He's the one with the alcohol on board. But also, I'm not Conrad goes forms. over to I the just forms and the takes them and goes, don't worry, I've done these before. I'm yeah, going to have no. so yeah, much good on fun you, breaking mate. the rules. <laughs> All right, get inside, mate. Yeah, go on. I'll meet you in the next room. Go on, bloody bugger off. All right. All right, uh, Molly, Mazbaz, you, you can sign the form. Get in there. Look after your, you look after your chickadees. Uh, Molly's Molly's fine. Fine. Yeah, just... Matt. As bad as it oh, is, there uh, you go. Okay. We call each other nicknames in here. Uh, I'm 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 Willie. I'm Willie. Uh, you got, Mr. You got... Wanker. What's it? Uh, no, I don't. You bloody call me that. That's my father's <laughs> name. Please call me Willie. Oh, uh, we're Willie. Yeah, Willow. Yeah. Willow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because then I could say um, it's time to wet me Willie, and then have a drink. And he has like <laughs> like he skulls like a, a nearby beer. Uh, I'm just gonna always position myself kind of between him and the group <laughs> just, that's just you a are little fair. bit you are justified just, in doing that i'm a little worried and tyler's going to attempt to put his hands over eli's ears when some of these conversations uh, are age appropriately wrong but i'm fairly sure eli's much faster than, oh, than tyler is like uh, 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 uh. <laughs> all right so uh, everyone signed their forms he's yeah, swaying signed, a little bit. sealed delivered <laughs> okay cool Come on through to the first room. Now, this is the first room on me tour. Uh, yeah, no, that's the, that's the right one. Okay, come through to the beer garden, and you can have a little look and see the wonders of the, uh, the tinny factory that I have in store and created for all of you wonderful, lovely chickadees. Wang's going to look around to see if there's, like, a hard hat or a high vis or something. Uh, there is isn't. There are. There are indeed high vis. There are no hard hats, and there is not a rack of them either. It's just clearly never got installed a rack for hard hats. <laughs> All right. So he's going he's, he's to pop a high vis on. You pop a high vis on. Anyone else pop a high vis on? I am, and I'm going to put one on Eli as well. No. 
Come on, you need it. No, it was gonna it's gonna block my cape and they've got to know that I'm a superhero. Yeah, all, all right. I uh just I... take the cape off, put the height vis on and then put the cape on over it. No, I don't a want to. It's a different kind of super cape. Hey, no worries. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll handle this one. He like kneels down, and you can smell like a foul <laughs> breath. Eli starts running. And he's like, <laughs> he's like, where'd he bloody go? I was just gonna tell him he could grow up big and strong like me if he doesn't put what on. Uh, Eli's I, running into the beer garden. Yeah, no, that it never fails to get the kids moving. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wow. yeah. And he like saunters through with like his hands kind of limp like this, just walking along, <laughs> having a beer in one hand, and he's just, he's like Weird shuffling through with his thongs on. Disturbing. So, what yeah. does the beer garden look like? Yeah, what's around? Uh, it looks fairly nice. So, much like in uh, something that this is definitely not parodied from, there <laughs> there seems to be like a waterfall of suds emanating from somewhere in the roof. And it comes down, and there seems to be a river of hops and and flowing li- amber liquids uh, across the uh, floor of this room. And there's a little bridge going over it, and a little tugboat with a Russell Crow sitting in there, just like <laughs> tooting along. And, it's uh, pee. No, mate. It's bl- it's 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 a taste. I mean, it might as well be piss. <laughs> oh, mate. Look, some people call it it, but I'm not trying to market it as such. But it, you have a river of pee. No, I don't, Closer mate. What you might mate think I can't get it. <laughs> look, 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 mate. Watch me here. It. It's it's not it's not bloody what you said. And he like takes, he leans down, and he takes like a little scoop, and he like. Yeah, see, look, it's not, it's not, mate. It's Anyone just, dare just, me to kick him into the river? It's just, kick him in the river. it's just bloody. Kick him in the it's river. just how it is, mate. Ew. Kick him in the river, conduit. It's just a bit bubbly. Are you trying to kick him in? Is is he still kneeling over there? <laughs> he kind of. Tr- you can do it as he leans down to do it. Yes. I Why attempt is- to kick him into the river. Oh, that's Why so is funny. Why he bubbly? <laughs> what roll do I have to make for that? Uh, that's gonna absolutely be a brawn check. Fuck. Anyone want to assist? Oh, Actually, you, no, you want to help me? I'll give you one of my points. All right. Uh. One, one. Uh, you try to kick, and uh, and uh, I'll let you role play this out. How do you mess this up very badly? This is a narrative complication badly. So I try to do like a full sprint towards him. Oh no! Then I, well, like halfway into it, I trip over a tuft of grass, roll over, and then I'm like, feet first, just go sliding towards him, and I don't even push him, just like tap it. It's like you tap him. Yeah. So I'm like. Right behind him, like this. He turns around. He's like, "Mate, if you calm down, you'll be in a bloody, bloody river in a second if you're not careful." Sorry, I was trying to determine if the grass underneath me was also hops. Yeah, all right, mate. Look, look, look I'm just gonna give you a bit of a rundown. Now you got to be careful, kids, because everything in this bloody garden will get you undone in for underage drinking. Okay, so don't <laughs> touch nothing. All right? <laughs> okay. Nothing in here you can bloody touch. And, you know, trust me, you'll be a in a world of pure inebriation if you do. So <laughs> this is my life and this is how I live it. What are we talking about? And he, the, like, the, walks away from the edge. Tour. Health tour. and safety regulations, probably. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, no. Bloody cops haven't found out about nothing in here yet, so we're good. All right, on to the next tour. And um, all right, so how many of you are there? One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, good, good. Have we found Eli yet? Because didn't Eli bolt off somewhere? Eli yeah, has in I fact run across the <laughs> bridge yeah, and away. Yeah, oh, okay. he's like, um, um, excuse me, slightly drunk bloke. Yeah, what? Wait, no, I'm I'm Willie. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, Willie. Um, yeah. We... That's yeah. Mr. Wanker to you. <sighs> We're missing Eli. No, the sixty. I just counted. Oh no. <laughs> Wait, uh, all right. Nobody. And then nobody... Turn to Molly. Please, Miss, can we go and find Eli? Yeah. Nobody panic. Was zapping before, and we found him by the end of the day. 
Uh, everyone, uh, and everyone nobody take sued a buddy. no one over nothing. All right. <laughs> take a buddy. Let's let's. Uh, uh, Right. I'll, I'll go with Miss, Miss, there's an odd number of people. Yeah, no, I'm here oh, as well. Uh, I'll pair up with someone. All right. Uh, you know. Uh, oh. Runs off to Dino. <laughs> yeah, all right. Tyler, it's you and me, bud. And he, like, hugs him close. Yeah, let's go, mate. You're clashing my fur Okay, Tyler, it, do you know what this kid looks like? Because I've got, you know, a bit of the double vision going on. You're going to have to be my toilet. eyes here. The bright red cape. You were just kneeling down in front of Eli, like literally a minute ago. Yeah. No. I, well, you know, you, Freckles, you, red hair. Can I look yeah, around and see if I can, if I can spot Eli? Uh. Yeah. Yeah. Roll. Roll a. Uh, roll a. Uh, a. A check. <laughs> roll a check. <laughs> what check to, would you I'm like me to? to... <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to work this out. I'll go. Go brains. Okay, brains. Oh. Um, Two. Who? Yep. You you are uh, you can hear the waterfall and you hear a slightly smaller waterfall uh coming from somewhere <laughs> nearby and you look over and and Eli is on the other side of the bridge and uh a, a very you know almost like a Mike Myers movie uh you can see everything carefully like arranged and placed so that you can see the stream but nothing else going <laughs> into the cre- uh, into the into the little beer river here. So I can't determine the action that is currently oh, happening. Oh no, you know what's going on here. Oh, I know what's going on. Okay, I look at that and go. There is now more that amber liquid that is flowing into this river silently, not mentioning to anyone else. I'm just going to myself. Now that is going to be hilarious later. <laughs> e- e- Eli Ale coming to a shop near you. Soon. All right, uh, all right. Okay, Tyler. I think you know. I think I know where he's gone. It's going to be the gift shop. Now, normally I would put the gift shop. You know, and if you put, if you designed a. Uh, the theme park you put a gift shop at the end but no one wants to do anything at the end they just want to leave so gift shop's actually the second room on the tour because then you can send them through the gift shop back at the end like a big loop it's like a double trap double money for us so let's you and me go check that place out it's oh, only got about the, this is the ikea of four breweries. things wrong with it <laughs> uh, may i also um perform a check to look for Eli. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, meanwhile, uh, Mr. Mr. Willy Wanker and Tyler walk off to the gift shop. <laughs> I fake and, uh, walk to them, then double back and run towards Eli. All right. So you see, uh, you see Conrad walk uh, run over somewhere. Molly, can you make a, a uh, brains check? Brains, good. Yeah, that's a one. Yeah. So uh, it looks like you can see where Conrad's gone, and uh, and uh, you're not sure where he's gone, but uh, you you cannot find Eli right now. Panicking a bit, I'm like, I can't lose a kid again. <laughs> but again, I'm following conduit because I have absolute faith in the buddy system. <laughs> All right. So, uh... <laughs> Sorry, Matt. I'm just going to look around. Uh, given there's a big river of beer here in the yep. area we're leaving from, is there a uh, like a life jacket, a boy, a BUO? Yeah, why? Like a buoy, or, or, yeah. yeah, or a or a rope of some sort. Uh yes, there are a few. Failing, of those failing that, a, a couple of meters of uh, uh, either hose or rubber hose, <laughs> just looking for some sort of rope if someone falls in. Uh, yes, there is. There seems to be uh, after uh, an extensively used and scratched up uh, uh, little little lifeguard. Uh, what are they called? The little swim rings, the safety swim rings. Uh, and you, you can see, like, it, it looks like this has happened multiple times in the past. <laughs> I'm just going to grab that. Grab. <laughs> All right. Okay. So uh, <laughs> you grab that just in case someone's fallen. You can add that to your inventory. Hey. And uh, you can see that there's, like, a... There seems to be another floor to this place. Uh, and there's, like a, like, a cheeky little mezzanine staircase kind of spiraling up in the uh, corner of the room, quite near the waterfall as well. Uh, what's everyone doing at this point of time? Blue beer boy. Well, I'm running towards Eli. I'm going to, like, whatever you're doing, bloody brilliant. Then I go over to, next to her, and then I go to Deno and say, "Hey, could you grab my legs for a second? Okay, I grab. I, I absolutely grab conduits. All right, then I crouch um, down, and then I put my, my hair into the river and attempt to wash it a little bit. All right. Uh, Dano, how strong are you? Um, I got a brawn see. check. 
Okay, that's a D6. That's a six. Oh, it's not bad. It's not bad. I mean, he just right. has to hold me there. He's not. You don't get to. You don't. You're not able to drag him up, but you are able to hold him there successfully, and uh, you you manage to keep him from falling in. All right. So there's just like a streak of like black sludge going across the uh, <laughs> of the river because that's what was causing my hair to go black. And as I right. pull my hair out of the uh, the river, you just see like a very. Uh, I want to say very light golden brown, but not the golden brown of the river. It was like, it was as if it was golden brown before it became black. Okay. I don't think Eli would know the difference. So as he pulls his big boy pants up, he's like, no, you got pee in your hair. Good, because that gets rid of the black grease easily. <laughs> all right, yeah. you successfully wash your hair and it's starting to all come out. Surfactant. You, uh, it looks like you have successfully done this. Uh, everyone else kind of goes, Ugh, as the fact that you have pretty much just washed your hair in a mix of beer and pee. Um, Look, and, and I know you would think it's disgusting, but it's been worse, okay? Yeah. Once I try to drench it in rabbit blood. Why? It's just sitting there. Why? <laughs> rabbits, the rabbits left. I feel like I had this... So I feel like I had this answer before. I think it was something to do with a ritual to determine what the fuck was going on with this town. It's at this point that you hear like a large shudder of the whole factory. Like the whole thing's like, like something just got caught upstairs and uh, the fountain and the, the waterfall suddenly like slows to a very small trickle, small trickle. Writes in my is, book. Note to self: you never save rabbit blood. Pee. And uh, you, you hear uh, Tyler. You feel the shudder as well. And uh, Mister Mister Wanker goes, "Oh, that can't be bloody good." <laughs> Has this ever happened before? No. He, uh, they're in a different room. Yeah. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Tyler raises his hand. Yeah. You don't have to, mate. It's just one on one. You don't have to raise your hand with me. You just talk. You know, it's free form. <laughs> Um, Mum said you're the older brother. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. No, May is the brother. He's Billy. I'm um Willie. I'll be right back. <laughs> no worries. I'll we'll, I'll I'll, uh, I'll ruminate on what I was saying here. <laughs> All right, so, okay, meanwhile, back in the other room, uh, the whole factory has shuttered and the uh, waterfall has come to a, a, a trickle. Not a halt, but a very trickle. I think the giant is done with his pee. If the factory shakes three times. This must mean something. <laughs> Any more, Write this down for later. Uh, um, a related note. Um... Are there any bunnies? Have we seen any bunnies since entering the factory? Uh, uh, can you make a? I'm gonna see any like rabbit? I'll let you either do a grit, down, a grit or a brains check on that. Uh, grit is my better dust. That's the one I'm gonna go for. Okay. Dokey. That's an eleven. Oh, 11's nice. So, uh, you actually have, you've seen a couple bunnies hopping around here and they you do see them falling over every now and then. Like they've been eating the grass, which has probably been grown with beer instead of water and it's giving them an alcoholic property. Bunch of drunk bunnies around here. Yeah, there's a lot of drunk bunnies around here. See, I told you, beer is what plants crave. Yeah. Yeah, I love that reference. <laughs> yeah. uh, but yes, there's a lot of drunk bunnies around the beer garden here. It's almost like a little meadow with like a bunch of rabbits that can't stand up properly. And the um, to so say the sound came from upstairs, and there's a spiral it did. staircase. It was like the whole place shuttered. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, I'll do it. You want to go check that out? Could I like your thinking. Let's do that. I got the spiral staircase. You're All like, right. Come on, we're gonna go up the staircase. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Language follow. Molly, what you doing? Yeah, have I seen Eli yet? Uh, you have seen Eli. Eli has just gotten really excited and followed Conrad up the ladder <laughs> and the spiral staircase. I'm just going to go and quickly give him a quick hug and then I'll follow along as well. All right. 
So uh, the four of you, five of you, uh, walk up the uh, staircase to a different room, and uh, uh, Tyler, your conversation with uh, Mister Mister Willie about his brother Billy continues. It's um, yeah. Have you? Does he go into the woods a lot? Oh, yeah. Why? Why? You know, he goes off every now and then. Why is that? Does he wear high heels? Oh, not the not what I've been aware of. Why? He likes no shoes a lot. Yeah. Um, um. Is there any fridge magnets around? In the gift shop, what are we looking at gift wise? I mean, okay. are we looking at rubber cones? Are we You're looking, looking at? The so it, there looks like to be like a full cosplay section that you could cosplay as uh, Mr. Willy Wanker. So he's got like the, <laughs> the stumpy hat and everything. There seems to be a cane that he never wears. Maybe it's like from a from years past. Uh, there's a lot of mini fridges here. Uh, there's there's like very clearly product of the beers, like in in many different sizes and shapes. There's stubby holders. Um, and uh, what 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 specifically are you looking for? It's very tacky in here. I'm there looking would be- for something fashion forward, really. That that really speaks to me as a, a 19s teenager. Uh, let's say that there's one of those jackets with the weird triangles and squiggly lines on it, and it oh. says, uh, and it says, uh, it, it's like a, the, it's like a logo shirt mixed into it. So it's like Willy Wanker's uh, Tinny Factory. Just, just pointed it. Yeah, what? Do you, yeah. Can I? Can I have it? Ugh. We want it. Yeah, can you it? want this? You want it? Yeah, mate. Go on, take it. It'll replace the jacket that you ruined in the river. Uh, yeah. So carefully put it on and. Zip the polyester up as tight as possible. Yeah, it's like, it's like it crinkles as you do it. It's like, yeah. It's going to generate so much static. Oh. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, so he's like, all right, mate, I got to go check the um, the refinery room. So if you wouldn't mind coming with me, because I have semi forgotten the way. <laughs> Is there any torches in in here at all? The you know the the branded torches yeah, or lighters? Yeah, yeah. yeah no, he, let's say let's say Mister Mister Wanko got really into like the useless branded uh, the useless branded items market fairly early on. So there's like torches, pencil cases. For some reason, like rulers and lighters, like lots of stuff. Yeah, t- I'll take a I'll take a handful of, of of big lighters because you know we're in a combustible environment. That seems a very sound idea. Yeah, absolutely. And kind like of do the old elastic book fair in there. Yeah, just yeah, just, yeah. Uh, there's there's like a there's like a Mister Mister Wanker's Tinny Factory branded book of like Captain Underpants in here as well. He went all out on his branding. Yeah, put a couple um, of things in the in the, the, the zip up and Velcro pockets. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah, okay, yeah. Okay. Like everything. Is, like there's a section of exclusively khaki stuff. Yeah. No. No. Yeah. I see we did there. No, that's too old, man. Move on. It, it's, I'm, no. I'm I'm happy in my my my, my Velcro and. Oh, yes, oh my so. god! All right, so uh, no, you know, you got to. We just got to go meet the floor supervisor up on the next floor, and he should know what's going on up there. Like, you know, he, he he knows what's up. He loves he loves folks mucking around, so you'll love him. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, mate, I said it's free form. You don't need to put your hand up. Sorry, Mister Wanker. Um. Yeah. Aren't we supposed to be finding Eli, the small child? Oh that, yeah, that the kids missing. Didn't sign the waiver. Uh, he did. See, look, he signed his waiver. So if he turns up somewhere, you know, I won't get sued. He'll be all right. <laughs> he, uh, he, you know, he'll turn up somewhere if he's, you know, if he's in a can or the can slightly bigger and kid shaped. You know, we'll find him eventually. <laughs> uh, uh, you seem to care. You seem to care for him a fair bit, though. Look, let's go. Let's go. Let's go find. Um, let's is go there, find. This is there any boys. alarms around here? You know, health and safety. Because we, we've read oh, about not that at at all. School. There yeah. is no emergency <laughs> buttons anywhere, and you think this is by design? Yeah, Tyler's looking around for anything that has health the and red, safety. Anything. <laughs> the red flags are starting to pile yeah, up, as there like, was no hard hats in the initial area either. Okay. Yeah, you mate. No, Titty Factory here is a top-notch facility. No health reports or has it ever been uh, reported here? Wait, you, you, aren't you the older wanker? Not even a facility. <laughs> yeah, no, I am. No, no I'm not them. the eldest wanker. That's me brother. Right. Okay. Yeah. I thought wisdom comes with age. 
Oh, you know, wisdom comes with enough liquid confidence if you know what I mean. I'm 16. I'm not quite sure what you're talking about. <laughs> you know, bloody 16. You know what I bloody mean. <laughs> oh, I, kids on. these days saying no uh, bloody drink. It's it's 16. Like, I'm still a virgin. I, I, and I pull out one of Miss Molly's pamphlets about you and me, and so I'm just checking the bit she's underlined. Uh, apparently that's inappropriate. Oh. And I All right, him. let's go talk to Miss Molly about what is and isn't inappropriate. <laughs> Uh, and then, uh, and then he starts walking off. Before Fall I head up the uh, the staircase, I will have put some uh, some. I would have taken some black grease out of my backpack yeah. and coated a bit of the uh, the grass near the uh, the staircase with it. All right, uh, you can. As in, says so it's like marking your trail. Yes. Okay, so you get over there, and uh, Tyler, you see uh, uh, Mister Wanker. Uh, uh, it's just just kind of meandering about and you find the black grease on the ground uh, and um, you you see that it looks like uh, it looks like Conrad has marked his path to go up uh, and you also see the uh, waterfall has stopped working you're muted is Willie going in the right direction or is he going completely a different way is he slowly following you okay uh, no no um, <laughs> no no sorry Mr. Wanker I'm yeah, supposed what? to be following you you're, oh, you're, this is bloody. your factory Bloody hell. Oh, no, me phone's going off. No, I don't want any of that. That's the health insurance going off again. I've got to bloody it, get me liver looked at. one of the at. big car phone ones? He's got the big batteries from the yeah, 90s. Yeah, he's like, beep, boop, boop, boop. <laughs> Hello? He puts his Nokia brick down. <laughs> like, no, nah, oh, no, look, health insurance be damned. My liver's as tight as it ever was. Uh, <laughs> all right, go on. Uh, what's cirrhosis anyway? Come on. And then he starts like ascending the stairs okay i follow a careful but stay safe distance from him falling and oh is, is his belt properly done up <laughs> oh no he's a, a big bottomless crack <laughs> <laughs> he's and because it's like effectively he's in like almost trackies and like a really a, a really like there's no belt on there he's just climbing up in his cardigan a wanker's crack yeah, yeah. Tyler's, Tyler's looking at his high tops all the way up all right. Nothing more. Just is high tops. Oh, they'd, get up, they'd, be, they'd be double plug of thumbs. There wouldn't be. There wouldn't be high tops. Yeah, I was. I was getting fancy. <laughs> <laughs> high top thumbs. Yeah. Uh, you get up there, and it looks like it looks like um, it, it looks like there's a couple things that are caught in the drainage system here, and they might be a bit underwater. But it's like blocking the uh, the waterfall. It's like one of those waterfalls that like set into the ground, so you don't really see it go over an edge. You see it go like go down, straight down. And uh, you you notice that there's a couple blockages there. Can we determine what the blockages are? Uh, it is it is clear. It is a pretty pretty cloudy amber liquid that's going that's supposed to be going down there. So uh, I would need maybe a brains or a grit, your choice to detect that. And then uh, based based on that, I will let you know. Okie dokie, brains. I do one as well. Bad rolls all day. Uh, three. Three? Yeah, three. Is that just Conrad or is that anyone? Anyone who can. Uh, anyone is able to. Oh, was it grit, grit or what? Grit or brains, your choice. Uh, grit then. I rolled an 11. 13. 11, 13. Tyler? Or Molly? No, no. I'm, I'm, I'm just waiting for Eli to give us the answers. <laughs> All right, so 11 and 13. <laughs> Eli, you look down there, and there's very clearly two briefcases stuck in the drainage system. It looks like my dad's work thing. And it's just like they're, like, clogging up, like, the main opening there. Do they have, like, one of those long, like, the pool nets on sticks? Uh, like, oh, oh, like, like a big scoop? <laughs> yeah, like yeah, a pool yeah. scoop. Um, well, it does look like you might have to, like, get down there and unblock it or, like, to, like dislodge something in there possibly by hand but a pool scoop could probably do it with the length that you've got yeah yeah is is like there's one around that we can just uh try and spot yeah, it. yeah let's, let's, <laughs> funny. yeah let's do that um okay so this i would like a blockage. brawn check oh this i would like well. a brawn check from molly to try and get this out i can't swim without my pool floaty uh tyler what's up Please we miss. Float here, kiddo. Oh, <laughs> what? It's a ten out of ten. Ten out of ten. Oh, that's pretty Ooh. good. That's a good success. 
But 10, 10 is usually like average or above average. So you get in there and you scoop it out and you, yeah, you, you, uh, you manage to unblock one of them and you pull it out and it says Mr. Wanker on there. It's a um, briefcase belonging to Mr. Wanker. Which one? <laughs> yeah, check, check. It doesn't have any, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So it's a, it's a, it, it looks like, uh, it looks like it says, uh, it, it looks like it says B Wanker. I'm sure, it's not B well, A Wanker. No, it's 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 a. Uh, I mean, it could be because we don't know its middle name. But right now, it is B Wanker's briefcase. Well, there was Billy and Willie, but aren't they both short for William? Uh, well, you don't know because sometimes <laughs> Bill. Billiam. I've literally seen someone be called Billiam before. <laughs> um, so, <laughs> I'm assuming sure it's, it's William it's, and Billiam. <laughs> yeah, it's, it could be William and Billiam. <laughs> Um, William and William Wanker. Ironically, yes, it is. <laughs> I mean, who other uh, wanker could it possibly be? Ah, uh, this, this briefcase belongs to some wanker. God, how many wankers do we have in this place? <laughs> Yo! <laughs> God, I knew yeah, it. I was no, surrounded by wankers. It's, just one of the, it's just one. That looks like me brother's briefcase, because all I do is keep stubbies in mine in me office. Right, well, why would yeah, it no, be here? That's yeah, William's briefcase. From? Well, uh... <laughs> Well, the intake for the water of the factory connects to the lake. So I reckon it's just been sucked up, you know, sucked up the pipes. From the lake? Yeah, from the lake. And then they've purified all the water, but the the, uh, the bloody briefcases have made it into the piping. Miss, there's another one. I'll what? give this briefcase to Archie because I trust Archie the most. Okay. <laughs> and I'll try and scoop the other one. <laughs> Yeah. And then uh, you see someone like walk up to you at this point. They're wearing like full khaki. Uh, they're wearing like a little khaki button up shirt and little khaki uh, short shorts. <laughs> and he's like, hey, mate, thanks so much for getting me, uh, getting, uh, getting not, mo- not me, but you're doing me job for me and getting those briefcases out of there. Uh, good on you. Uh, look at me. It's uh, nice to meet you all here. Uh, Molly, good on you. Let's have a palmy at the pub another one day. Uh, and he goes around to all of you going, all right, mate, Steve Irwin, Steve Irwin, uh, I'm the floor supervisor here. Steve Irwin, good to meet you. Crikey, Steve <laughs> Irwin. Yep, danger, good on you, Steve Irwin. Stick him in the butt hole, Steve Irwin. <laughs> all right. Uh, now, now, what do you find folks doing here? And uh, and uh, Mr. Mr. Wanker's like, ugh, they bloody uh, uh, got a, uh, I'm supposed to be giving him a tour, but I'm, I'm reaching the end of me rope. I haven't had my mornings. If you know what I mean, he's like, "Oh yeah, no worries, mate, no worries. Uh, yeah, you could go on and do that. Uh, no, look, folks, come with me. I'm, I'm at least sober here, and I have an expert opinion on everything brew. Uh, judging by my uh, by my little beer zoo I've got here, you can see all types of beer. You can see Pacifics, IPAs, Guinness type beers that I've forgotten the name of stouts. That's it, uh, and uh, you can see Pacific ales and all that sort of shit." Arch put well, his don't hand stand up. there. Huh? Arch put his hand up. Yeah, mate. What's this, going on? This is a this this is a fantastic factory, isn't isn't yeah. she a beauty? Yeah, she's a bloody beauty. She is. Yeah. Well, it, look. Uh, if if it's all good to you, I've got to bloody chuck these things out. But uh, don't worry for a bit. Just hang out for about five minutes. Don't touch anything, because as Mister Mister uh, Mister Wanker has probably said, everything's going to get you in here done for drinking. So I'll be back. I'm going to put these in the uh, in the skip out the back, and uh, I'll come back. We'll continue the tour, okay? Okay. And he uh, Wait, picks up it? picks up the briefcases okay. and starts like. Did we fish briefcase the second one there? out? Sorry. Did we fish the second one out? I will say with enough time. Yeah. Yeah. Did we get to see? What What's was on the, the other case? Uh, both of them were belonging to the same guy. Oh, okay. Uh, so it was Billiam, Billiam Wanker. Okay. And that is the mayor of Dry Creek. So he, he took the, the case off me that Molly gave. Uh, Mr. Uh, yeah. Irwin? Yeah. yeah, mate. I'm bloody walking off. What's going on? How did those cases actually get here? Oh, they bloody come through the water intake and they get sucked out the pipes. And sometimes, you know, you pick up stuff like that. You pick up sheep. You pick up rabbits, you pick up whatever, and they all just go through. You filter them out when you need to. And uh, sometimes, yeah, use that pool scoop like you did, and you just unblock it. Sometimes they just go straight in the fountain, and they swim around in there for a bit. Why okay, would fair there enough. be sheep in the, in the creek? 
Oh, you know, people dump sheep all the time. You might want to consider organizing a funeral. Why is that? Well, how else would those cases get here? Oh, I don't know, mate. I'm just the guy who works in the factory, not the guy who detects where the briefcases come from. <laughs> you, you have a guy for that? No, nah, we don't. We probably should hire one. Actually, you know what? I'll, I'll, I'll give you 10 bucks if you can work out who does that for me. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, look, a little, little business entrepreneur knows what knows his money from his money. You could buy so many strawberry clouds with that. They're only about five cents because it's the 90s. <laughs> <laughs> more of a more of a musk stick guy myself. Yeah, no, well, you get your bloody loads of musk sticks for that as well. You could get them for five cents each because it is also still the 90s. Anyway, get along with your little doggies. I'm going to go hunt me a briefcase shelf or are, skip. Are we alone in the factory now? Yeah, you are, you are left alone <laughs> unaccompanied <laughs> in the beer factory as Steve Irwin has left you alone. This place squanders money on their frickin' brewery. Somehow the town is not a shit creek and a brother has gone missing. There's gotta yep. be some demons going on in this place. But the staff are really friendly and I got this great top. Look at the merchandise, it's great. <laughs> friendly? He's taking away belongings of what I'm assuming is gonna be a dead person. You've got a very what? curious mind. He could have just thrown them in the lake. Why? But why would he stuff. throw it in the lake then? Why are they dead? Uh, miss, I'll let you handle this one. Uh, no one's dead. Look, I'm just saying. But he's either just passed said he on was dead. or he's an idiot. Uh, no, I, I no, like, no, no, no. We... I like the second one. It could be both. He passed it... on what? His idiot. He he has. Oh, let's just say he passed on his suitcases to the water people. Oh. Yes. He's fine. I'm sure I we'll see the mayor person. tomorrow. But still begs the question, why would that guy throw them... No, and I'm not talking about the uh, the mayor dude. I'm, screw him. It's the Mr. Ir the Irwin dude. Why would he throw out the cases? I mean, those look like some pretty good cases. He was finding a shelf for them, comrade. He was finding a shelf. He, he said specifically that they was going to throw them out. Yeah. Um, shelf. You can roll a brains check if you want, like an in, like a form of insight. If you I want to do that. Okay. Act, I spoke not to a now. water person once. Yeah. I got an what eight. What was their name? An eight. An eight. Uh, yes. Something was a little bit fishy because no one would just throw out something like that, especially if, specifically if it's also like a murder case or a a missing persons or or like a. Like a, like a body has been found, you know? No body has also been reported. But it's still, it's 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 ringing as weird. I'm going to keep this in mind for now, but I'm not dropping this. We, we could just ask him when he comes back. I don't know. What if he doesn't him? come back? I don't quite trust the people who work at this place. All right. <laughs> so, uh, are you waiting for a few minutes for him to come back? No. No. So all right, <laughs> what do you want to do? I'm going to go yeah, let's into the let's factory. Let's Find moving. another door to go through. Yeah. yeah. Seems to be like this is the main floor here, other than the one to leave the building, possibly down some stairs to the bins, or you head back down uh, to the main floor where the, uh, where the rest of the factory boat. There was a little tub boat down on the other floor. So, yeah, let, let's is the river down. still there for the tugboat to use? or would uh, that have dried The up? river... <laughs> so, <laughs> as the river is unblocked... You hear, you hear a oh bloody ripper coming from downstairs, and you know that uh, Russell Crowe and his little tugboat have started <laughs> floating again in the in the little amber in the amber river that's there. It looks like the giants begun pissing again. Yeah, uh, and uh, thank you, Emily, for the donation. Uh, you <laughs> you see another little worker come along, and uh, I don't know how to do your accent. You be good luck. Just become overly posh. Good luck. Become overly posh. Okay. Uh, so <laughs> you see a, another guy walk up. He's in actually, he's he's one of the only guys that are in a hard hat and a high viz here. And uh, he comes up and he's like, you guys, uh, oh no, are you guys uh, uh, with the factory? No. 
Where are you sure? Yes. Are you not working? No. So you haven't been you haven't been hired here? Not that we know of. <laughs> okay. The Steam look, guy gave me ten bucks. Look, uh yeah, that's about as close as to a paycheck he's gonna get. Don't trust Steve, he's a liar. Well, wow. okay, if you haven't been hired here, you might be in danger. So, uh, they haven't found out. To, what, what do you know? In, in Next danger to nothing. from what? Oh. Who? You're in so deep for someone who doesn't know anything. Well, what have we hmm. known so far? Nothing. They have very little health regulation. They've got drunk bunnies all over the place. Oh, you know about the bunnies then? And uh, no, we don't know it. We don't know anything about anything. Okay. Well, you better Miss, follow me then. Miss, are you see, lying? I'm a barley oh. darling, mate. You, uh, I'm a barley <laughs> darling. You'll never, you'll never hear me lie. What's your name? Uh, my name is uh, Chris, aka D Twenty. <laughs> what a, what a weird D20. Name. My, my code what a name is the name. sheep. <gasps> you have a Because I bleat name? on those to the authorities. Are you, are you a superhero too? Uh, you could call me a superhero, yes. <laughs> I'm a superhero. I understand. What's your code name? My code name is yes. Dexter. Okay, Dexter, I'm the sheep. Nice to bleat you. <laughs> what? <laughs> Don't worry about it. <laughs> All right. Okay, so uh, uh, Chris, aka D20, aka uh, the sheep, uh, leads you and he kind of like peers out that back door and he's like, okay, Steve Irwin's down there and he's a. Uh, hmm, I thought so. Take a look at this. And you peer outside and you can see Steve Irwin has just closed the bin lid door on himself. <laughs> And there, there, he does not come back for about 30 seconds. You do not see Steve Irwin anymore. He has disappeared into the skip. He has recycled himself. Yeah. <gasps> what yeah, if it's a, what yeah, if that's it's funny, the, don't you think? What if, what, what if it's the, the evil lair <laughs> of the bad guy? I don't know, but I want to check this out. Either it's a secret lair or I've got some access to some more... <laughs> I've got access to more ritual components. I don't know what that means, but I think I think we can stop the bad guy. Yeah. I want to head right over to that bin door. You head down to the bin door. I want to head over to that bin door. All right. So uh, you you uh, at least Conrad. If anyone else wants to, they may as well. Uh, you run yeah, down the yeah. the uh, the fire escape stairs and you head to the. Uh, you head to the skip nearby, and you can open the. Do you, you want to open the bin door? I want to open the bin door. It looks like at the bottom of the bin, there seems to be a hatch that has been freshly closed. <gasps> this place is getting stranger all the time. I knew Perfect. it. Perfect. Yeah. Now, what do you do here? Are you going through? Guys, we've got a health code violation. Let's nab them on the spot. I, 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 just stay together, all right? I'm, I'm in. Uh, only if you can Hell keep yeah. up. <laughs> how, how big's wow. the How big's the opening of this secret hatch? Uh, well, it's a, so do you, so. Picture like a, a a big garbage skip. So you could literally like get about three or four of you in there comfortably. Yeah. And then the hatch is like a big trap door that slides open. I want to open the trap door. You open the trap door. There seems to be stairs going underground here, and it leads to a, like a little corridor in the darkness. You it. There is something strange going on in this place. And then you Ooh, hear, this is where "Hey, the go. hey, hey!" And you turn around, and you see like smoke and a dart once again, <laughs> but in like her highest fashion, is Sophie Monk once again. She's like, oh, "I knew you little thieves would take it." Get back here. Take what? My stubbies. I'm the winner of that competition. Now, if you're going into secret, oh bins, good, then you can spearhead the operation. Along. I grab her and then throw it down. The you throw, well, no, she's like, she's like, let's say twenty meters away at this oh, point. Oh crud. Okay, fine. Sophie, <laughs> if you I don't wanna, know how to do that one. If you want to come with us, you can just come with us. Well, I 
I wanted so I wanted to win that competition because I wanted the secret to the beer factory. But you're you're here already. Yeah, I snuck in. Did you? Yeah. No. Why did you? Why did you have to win a contest if you could just sneak in? Because yeah, you're the bloody daughter of the place. <sighs> Daddy won't let me in. Okay. <laughs> Matt, it's at this point that Tyler reaches into it, it, the, the Velcro backpack he's got, whips out the old-fashioned camera, and takes a very bright Polaroid to distract Sophie by ah! blinding her momentarily. And then screams, the run! <laughs> as he whispers looks about this? back ah! at D20. <laughs> All right, so um, you... you... Like... <laughs> Okay, uh, I need I need help with this one because I have no idea what the voice is like. You see her latest hench person, Steve Stinger Raymond. I don't. What's the voice of that sound like? They also get coined. I've got person. no idea who that is. I think I, it's a real person. Oh, I think it's just Stingray. Yeah. Oh. Uh, okay. <laughs> I thought this was like I thought this was like a, As a in the Stingray that oh person. my uh, god. Steve, Steve Stinger, Irwin's Stinger Raymond. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Too okay. soon. Too Thank soon. you, well. anonymous tornado for that. Um, uh, okay. No, thank no, you for no, keeping okay. me alive. So, so no, this isn't. This is not Sophie Monk's. Uh, okay, no, I got this. Yeah. This is not Sophie Monk's uh, uh, henchman. It is in fact the. Uh, there, there's another adult sitting a little bit further back uh, behind there that illuminates the shadow of as the uh, photo goes off and he goes, ah, in the back as well. And you see uh, the local copper, Stinger Raymond, <laughs> standing at the back of the uh, at the back of the factory and he's like, Oi, are you kids bloody doing no good? Why are you taking photographs of that girl smoking? That bloody girl smoking! And he's, he's like... <laughs> He's like, stand right there, and he like uh, tries to hop the fence and just and just like start running after you. You know, this guy's really into detective work, so uh, he likes to call him uh, P.I. Stinger Raymond, and uh, and and he starts like running after everyone. I the jump hatch. into the bin and threw down, down the hatch. hatch. Yep. All right. Motion everyone to go in. So we got a bit of a Benny Hill situation happening. <laughs> Man, Sting is going to have a field day when he gets I've in that factory. Got, uh, Link's still got that uh, beer buoy. Can he fling it at him to to, to try to distract? And, uh, distract? All right, can you make a can you make a flight check? No, hold on, fight check. Fight check. We don't talk about Nine. fight check. Nine. All right. <laughs> All right. So so you throw you you like you like lasso, uh, pi Stinger Raymond. And as the Benny Hill theme starts to play, and you hook him, you hook him really well, and it like goes down there. He's like got his arms like he's got one arm out, and he's got he's oh right, come back here, bloody hell, come back! Uh, I can't pull me gun out, uh, and and starts chasing after you. You see, you see, uh, followed in front of him, you see Sophie Monk with a dart in hand, lit like ah! <laughs> like running after you. Uh, you all start, you all start running down uh, the the. The secret stairway <laughs> uh, into, into the <laughs> darkness. And who's on point? Who's running first? Is it Conrad? Yeah, that would be me. Yeah. All right, uh, Conrad, you uh, you light your you know you light your lighter and start like running through these corridors, taking every twist and turn that you can. And uh, you hear Yakety Sax playing as you as you delve deeper and deeper under mm -hmm. under the lakeside. Secret this, soundtrack. This is uh this this this. By the by, the uh, soft waves lapping over the top of you. You think that this is actually going under the lake itself? Holy crap! We are under the lake. Yeah, and 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 then you hear like, and then as the song finishes, da -da 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 -da, and uh, and it, <laughs> da -da -da -da, uh, it, you you are you find yourselves in like a huge room. At this point, uh, you can see another few things. You can see that it's a bit high tech in here. Like, you know, at least iPhone level tech in here. Like they have got some developed stuff and this is 20 years ahead of its time. Holy effing There's like hell. touch screens. There's, there's panels that kind of like swivel around and they're really thin and they've got like what looks to be something without a LAN cable on it. It's all wireless. This is definitely the bad guy. Yeah. I and think I've just reached my kind of heaven. 
you, you you're looking around you can see like a number of consoles here and you actually see a number of bunnies trapped in a cage as well do they appear sober <laughs> they appear sober that's why they're in the cage sober bunnies um, there yeah. really must be something wrong with this place <laughs> They are are there sober. any other exits? Or there anyone, seems, any other seems, exits? There seems to be a few exits here. Yeah, there's a number of doorways and controls. There are an emergency exit. It's a bit labyrinthian here. I'm just going to do a quick once around just to make sure that, like, nobody is coming in from any of the other directions. Uh, yeah, could you make a light check here? Ooh. Just determine your actually, exits. That's better. Um, 11. 11. You know there's a good couple of exits here. However, there are people like starting to turn around and converge on you that have seen you here. You hear, you hear, uh, Sophie Mung like, ah! Like <laughs> walking down, running down the thing and they'd stop and go, holy hell, what the hell is this? And then uh, <laughs> looking around like, what the hell? Uh, and then you hear, uh, you hear P.I. Stinger Raymond uh, run through as well. And you can hear from the back. Ah, oh, they bloody followed me. Well, guess we'll have to take care of that. And uh, you see up the back kind of silhouetted from the uh, screens. You see Steve Irwin step forward. But he's also <laughs> with he's also with another figure here. Oh, yeah? <laughs> What's wrong, AJ? <laughs> Is it, too, is it too silly? It no, was no, no, all no. making sense now, Matt. You've made the villain Steve Irwin. Oh, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> His tracks. Yeah, well, you know, Stinger Raymond might have to defeat Steve Irwin a second time. No. A second. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> this is now who's, canon. Who's, yeah, who's with him? Okay, so. Okay. So with them stepping out of the darkness seems to be a fairly well-dressed man and you hear them uh, kind of uh, walking forward in like, a, it, it, it's kind of got like a, a two-step to it on the, the echo of the footstep. It's like, uh, as they kind of walk forward and you realize why. It's because there's a couple stilettos walking on this uh, metal, metal uh, awning here. And out from the darkness steps uh, Billiam Wanker. And he looks Wanker. down upon all of you going, Yeah, mate, looks like we might have to make a new flavor soon after all. Hi, I'm Eli. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm sure you are, little laddie. Um, and we... Uh... That... Uh, Tyler pulls out the the Insta Polaroid and then starts flashing away in a desperate attempt to blind them. <laughs> oh, mate, don't you understand? These aren't retina displays yet. You can't take photos of them on an angle. <laughs> I don't they only display from just front CRT on... monitors. <laughs> it's like CRT. So, like, if you look at them from an angle, they're all blacked out. Um, are there it's any the <laughs> cover, mate? Are there any buttons on any of the control panels that might uh, cause some sort of catastrophic failure? Uh, you can have uh, make make a uh, make a brain check or a yeah brain check there yeah. Yep. I know I'm going to assist him with that. All right, you can add that check to to Danos. I'm gonna distract. I got a ten on my D10. <laughs> add All a right. seven to that. Nice. Seventeen. Yep. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna distract them by talking to the. That guys. <laughs> okay, can you make a charm check while that happens? Sure. A drain the lake button or a summon Harold Holt button. Uh, <laughs> you say that out loud, are you just yeah. like, oh, is there a Harold Holt button? 16. Yeah. 16? Yeah. Uh, what do you say? Because this this actually kind of kind of plays into it pretty well. What are you doing? Oh, mate, you're just so bloody cute. I cannot resist but to monologue and answer your question. Oh, cool. Okay, well, now, 
I don't know why you're so charming. Could be the little bloody button nose you got, or the little uh, cape. Or <laughs> and he starts talking, and and the other and uh, Dano kind of like looks around. And you can see, like, this whole front of the area behind the screens looks to be a big window that could possibly open. And he's like, you know, we had a whole problem in the uh, in uh, recently with our, with our economy, so we had to talk about new ways of uh, yeah. making sure everything worked. So, uh, you know, we got these bunnies here and we swim them around in the lago. It turned out to be the most delicious thing ever that you've ever tasted. And uh, with a local, with, with the help of some Hit local heroes, you know, we bloody made sure that this town stayed on the map. Wow! And Dano, yeah. what are you what are you doing now? I hit the button, man. You hit the button. <laughs> yeah. You see, you see, like it's like a giant window. Two doors are like and opening up. And what is ahead of you is horrifying, yet strangely familiar. You see floating. It's like you're in the middle of the lake now. Uh, and and there is a man solely... No, it's not a man. Uh, it is... It's like... It's like this long figure casting a massive shadow on the, uh, on the glass of this. And there's a giant light shining on it. And the way it's all contorted, so kind of like, like in a big S shape... Mm. Uh, and it looks like they have like a lot of tubes feeding into them. So it looks like a really long-necked kind of fat-bodied creature. Crikey, it's the lake monster. It does exist. <laughs> and um, you see, it looks like it's like it, it. It seems to have like these cables coming out of it, running all the way to this structure. And it seems to be either powering or feeding it somehow. Excuse me. Yeah, mate. What are you doing to that lake monster? Oh, that's not a lake monster, mate. That's um, that's their ship. The bunny rabbits. Oh, yeah, mate. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I've said too much, but you're all gonna die anyway, I guess. So, uh, shut the blast doors, and you see like. Uh, I'm... How many adversity <laughs> tokens do we get when we start this thing? Uh, if you failed checks, you get some, so you probably have at least two or three by now. Okay. Oh, sorry, Molly, what were you saying? Oh, I was just going to say, as this happens, I'm going to be like, um, are you threatening my kids? I'm going to reach into the duffel bag that I have on my back and yeah, just yeah. pull out a um, baseball bat covered in barbed wire. Holy <laughs> shit! <laughs> <laughs> They're like, uh, no, not not uh, not at this point in time, ma'am. But I am intensely terrified of uh, of you right this second. <laughs> Capitalize uh, on it, rush them. Uh, and and as he, he keeps miss. he keeps uh keeps keeps talking and goes, <laughs> yeah, you know, and he, he starts bringing in this uh, this horrible ship, and he's like, yeah, well, uh, it's you know, it started off an expedition to uh, make sure that we could find the uh, long lost legend of the sea. But when we went out there, we found something more than we bargained for. What did you find? Well, we found just... um, we found the monster of the lake, but it was more man than machine. And you see, like plastered against the the uh, the effectively the front of this spaceship is the is the living remains of Harold Holt. On, on the ship itself. Crikey, it's the 17th Prime Minister. He's supposed to be on a submarine! Yeah, that's what we thought too, but turns out he just got swatted like a fly when this thing crash landed. Why? God oh, damn it, my cousin was right all along. Well, never leave it to a bunny to fly through space, mate. Those little bugger lugs, the crash landed and we found it, scooped it up. Turns out you drink them up good enough, they'll bloody just be so placid that... You know, the energy that they excrete makes a great flavor for beer. Now, okay. I'm sorry that I've had to tell you all this at the end of your lives, but uh, obviously we can't go around having you knowing about, well, the multitude of things that are coming. Um, Wait. Yeah, you don't... <laughs> can't actually, do no, this is pretty appropriate. So, yeah, I, I respect the hands raised, yeah. Go on, toilet. Um, will, will this be on our history test? Because I've got my end of year finals, and the yeah, Harold yeah. Holt bit is yeah, a bit mate. confusing. So, which version do I put in? 
Uh, no, just on your main history test. Well, I don't know why I'm answering that because <laughs> you're not going to be around. Hey, can't you? Why? I'll, I'll, I'll pacify your questions before I uh, get matters into my own hands. Uh, Lank, yeah. Yeah, Lank's going to reach into his pocket and into the bag of marbles and look for the biggest one in there. Yeah. Pull, pull it out uh, and just peg this at uh, at, uh, at him. At his head. You want to peg? Okay, so these sound like aggressive actions on some of them. Before before Lank does this, is there any other questions? Because it sounds like stuff is about to um, go down. God, yeah, I wish I, I could just, make it to my next test. I should say to I was sort of like seeing that it's Harold Holt. I'm like conduit, the notebook, the page on Harold Holt. Remember, he grants wishes. You're fucking right. I need to break. I I break out my leather bound tome and start looking through the pages to find Harold Holt. Oh yeah. All right, all right. Uh, can you can you do a brains check on that one? And uh, Dano, what were you doing? Sorry, you, you're just... you're kind of doing this with him. Yeah. All right. So uh, it, it looks like Molly, you have uh, you have pulled out your bat with spikes on it, classic rural Queensland style. Uh, Lank, you have pulled out your deadly giant marble, and you're trying to peg it at the guy. Uh, can you roll? Are you uh, Molly? Are you like launching at them? Like, what do you do with that bat? Yeah, I'm like. As soon as I made an aggressive, uh, like, um, speech, I'm just at them. I'm ready. All right. So uh, you start flying forward. Uh, can I get you to roll a fight check? And uh, Lank, I will get you to also roll a fight check right now. I got a 14 on my uh, brains, by the way. On your brains check. You guys find the page for summoning Harold Holt from the oceans, and you think this could be it. <laughs> okay. I need, I need to perform the ritual that is in this. I need to. Okay, I'll get can. to. I'll, I'll come back yeah, to your yeah, turn, yeah, and you can yep. you can attempt a satanic ritual to summon Harold Holt from the seas. Sure. Uh, Sorry, Matt. That was a fight check. A fight <laughs> check, please. Yeah, so D10. ten. Ten. Oh, all right. So. Uh, oh, they. So they, you were looking to beat a twelve there on the contested fight check. So you throw the marble, and it's like they've got superhuman ability. Maybe they've been drinking too much bunny brew, and they're just like, and catch that marble. And they're just like chucking it. They're like, yeah, you got to try harder than that, mate. It's pity this doesn't have exploding dice. Yeah. Um, so, Molly, what'd you get? 18. Okay. Oh. Role play this for me. You beat them by plus 10, which means you get a narrative, oh, you get a narrative uh, moment on top of this. So, you smack this guy or you, like, like you role play it for me. You, you successfully do something with this bat with nails in it to... <laughs> The mayor of your town. Marble was Billion. just enough of a distraction. Yeah. yeah. Just, yep. He turns away, um, looking at the marble and where it's come from. I sprint in. I like to think that I can do like a flip um, with my Taekwondo sure uh, background. <laughs> and just as I'm going over him, just clock him in the side of the head. Um, just, you know, straight to the head, not okay. messing around. So, so and, it sort of feels like a low-key exploding arrow situation. Yeah. And what compl uh, and what narrative uh, yeah. addition would you like to this attack? Because you have succeeded. It's, it's basically you crit right now, is how well you did. Um, Come on, Molly. Come it- up with a catchphrase. <laughs> yeah, come on! This is a punchline. Uh, this is the nineties action hero punchline. Yeah, you're you're basically just gonna like take down this guy with one hit because you have a bat just, with nails in it. It just goes through his head. Brew this fucker! <laughs> just, you know, just like I guess this is a home run. <laughs> Woo! Woo! And you, you, know, you hear like, like the that. Smash Bros. <laughs> like it, it makes contact. You hear, <laughs> and you hear game, and you just go boom straight <laughs> in like he. He starts like cartwheeling into the uh, into the glass at the back. It starts cracking out, and you see the whole thing shudder as you see like all of these red alarms start going off in the uh, in this uh, in this uh, control room here. And uh, Dano, Dano, you can see with that check you got earlier, there is also a couple controls for release the spaceship, and <laughs> there is another one that says uh, self destruct sequence if it, if we ever get found out. <laughs> um, <laughs> okay. Like it literally says all of that. It's like so self-destruct, and then like a little label maker label underneath. It's yeah, like yeah. It's like self-destruct if anyone ever if anyone uh, ever does that. Okay. Keep that in mind. <laughs> yeah. I hit release the spaceship. <laughs> what do you do? Who releases the spaceship? Release it the looks spaceship. like this whole place is like rattling and might might be uh, in a bit of compromise. Uh, you see the guy at the back. He's just like. <laughs> At least you're bloody going there with me, mate! <laughs> a 
the can glass is Tyler, like cracking out further and further. Yeah. Can Tyler scoop up um the little one? Because yep. Eli seems Eli seems to always kind of know what to do. And six year olds have an uncanny knack of pressing the right buttons at the wrong time. Okay, okay. So scoop Eli up and point him at the kind of consoles. Okay, you, you can do that. Thing. All right, Eli. It looks like you've got a button to press. <laughs> Dano, do you tell Eli what buttons there are? Um, yes. Yeah. Like, so, so, release so, the spaceship, kill us all. You got a, you got, you got release the spaceship or blow everyone up if they find out about us. Uh, Eli will <laughs> press. <laughs> push it like, just goes, push yeah! it kill everyone and just goes bam bam and then you hear like a Ooh! sorry no you don't hear that you hear tim allen's voice from uh from um uh, uh, from home improvement <laughs> as the alarm now blares all right, so we have an auto success for Conrad and Dano on the uh, on the ritual. All right, so, we perform the ritual. So you you have started drawing. Uh, you hear like <coughs> <coughs> like it's starting to get louder and louder, and uh, you you see the sigil light up on the ground, and the spirit of Harold Holt starts to glow from within the spaceship and the body on the ground. And he's like, <coughs> mate, you have resurrected me. I will now grant you your three wishes. What do you want? Lord Halt of the Submarine, yeah. we wish for us, all my friends and my teacher, out of this place. All right, just confirming which ones are your friends. Dano, Tyler, Eli, I keep pointing to all of them. Blank, Molly. Okay, that's and all And then of them. we'll and whatever, we'll put Sophie Monk in there too. <laughs> all right, this is not a monkey's poor situation, so they will all go. Boop. We wish to be taken out of here and back to the um, community center just outside the back entrance to, doors. Back to the dry MCA. Okay, good to know, mate. <laughs> Have a good one. And uh, you hear like, beep, 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 beep. and then wait, did you wish for the, the copper to go with you? No. <laughs> uh, fuck him. Right. He, he can handle his own. <laughs> Don't know, press so the crap on quickly. There are two people left on. in this. There are two people left. In this in this control room, there is Steve Irwin and, and Stingray. <laughs> Steve Irwin and Stingray, a little leftover, and he's just like they fought it out. It's Revenge of the Sith now. So we get yeah. a really cool freeze frame on their battle to the death as the whole Sting thing just the implodes ground. around them. We don't know who won the rematch between Sting Stingray and Steve Irwin, and I will leave it up to your imaginations. You all just go in front of the. Uh, in front of the uh, Dry Key Creek YMCA for Wayward Teens. Yes, I remembered it. And uh, you are all safe. You hear the spirit of Harold Holt be like, yeah, no, nah, it's a pretty big wish, so I'm just not going to give you a third one and I'm going to go back to sleep, all right? You know what? That's perfectly fair. <laughs> Slumber away. And you hear his spirit settle in the uh, in the debris and the, uh, the, the depths of the lake once more. I ripped that page out of my book and tear it up into pieces that I'm never using that anymore. Well, you now know it's true, so you don't want it to fall <laughs> in the wrong hands. All right. Wait. Willy Whoa. Wanker is completely unknown to all of this. It looks like Willy may have just been like a puppet or pawn in this whole shebang. It looks like the brother, and it looks like uh, uh, Steve Irwin may have been really running the show here. And that's probably why he didn't really have too much responsibility. They probably just let him do whatever as long as it didn't explode, you know? Does that mean he becomes the new mayor by succession? By default. <laughs> by default. <laughs> Mr. Willy Wanker is mayor. And his first act of business as mayor of the new town is to rename the whole town uh, Wet Creek. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, we have been dry long enough. We are all going to be wet from now on. Oh yeah. my. And that's where we're going to freeze frame on our adventure today. Perfect. <laughs> and some sunglasses Amazing. come down on him, but uh, we are out of time. <laughs> and I'm glad we got to tie that up a little yeah. bit. As neatly Thank as you we to could. whoever donated that six bucks. Thank you for the auto success at the end. It <laughs> oh, gave me a very convenient out. 
<laughs> All right. Uh, oh, man. Hey, guys, do you like kids <laughs> on bikes? I know this was most of your first time. <laughs> that was <laughs> glorious. So much fun. So funny. <laughs> so much fun. I love creating that nonsense. Uh, and and so did you, did you, I mean, we actually got, I, I, I think we got all of the ones that I chose to be true, true in the end. I like how they all, we managed to intertwine all of them together, basically. <laughs> yeah, so, so there was no cult, uh, but, you know, the government base and all that yeah. were down there and the no bunnies demons. were spaceships. No demons. Just, no just demons. regular old Harold Holt. Well, well Harold Holt could bodies. be a demon, you know, but we, we, we used him for good. Yeah. So, uh, so, someone in the chat, in the in the Twitch chat, says the second act of business is lowering the drink, drinking age to six, <laughs> yeah, so we can get more. Profit. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, okay. Let's let's get out of here so we don't have to have our yeah, tech yeah. tortured uh, for too long. Um, thank you, everyone. Big shout out to Arden Roleplay for having us on again. This is amazing. Absolutely uh, brilliant. Kids on bikes is so fun. <laughs> but uh, starting with Chris, where can we find you? You can't. Don't worry about that. Matt, oh, man. thanks. This made so much more sense than your first adventure. <laughs> so th this is great. Uh, wonderful playing with you. Thank you for everybody in chat. Some of you, I will find you. I will reward you in this next few games. So I'm coming for you. Back to you, Matt. All right. Nick, NVC DM. Where can we find you? Uh, thanks, everyone. I have been NVCDM. You can find me on Twitter at that NVCDM, on Twitch at NVCDM. Um, thank you, everyone in chat who donated, especially for rounding out the session. Um, please continue to watch. We've got plenty more fun games coming up. I'm going to be back again tomorrow, uh, raising some more money for this good cause. Thank you again. All right, AJ. Hi, I'm AJ Winters. Uh, you can find me at Winters Tales on YouTube and Twitch. Um, or anywhere on socials at Winter's Tales Co. All right, Heath. I am at the Antipodean D20. You can find me on most socials as the Antipodean D20. And this has been brilliant. Thank you very, very much. And Meg. I'm just here for fun. <laughs> but if anyone wants to pay me to play D and D, you know, or or <laughs> other games, that's fine. I'm open. And do it. <laughs> Where can we or find to you if people want to a good cause? Where can people find you if they want to if they want to contact well, you at, for um, said hire? I am uh, Meg plays games on Instagram, um, and that is the totality of my online presence at the moment. <laughs> Mitch, rounding off. Okay, if you want to find me on further things, you can see me on either Twitch or YouTube, The Average Rook. On YouTube, I play a lot of series and adventure games. On Twitch, I'm currently playing LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga, and after that, I'll be moving to Kingdom Hearts. Excellent. And I've been your Game Master. I'm Matt Brown from Split the Party. I do a lot of producing, editing, and making videos and streaming over there. There's a lot of stuff going on. Twitch.tv slash Split the Party TV or YouTube.com slash Split the Party. I'm also a professional DM. You can hire me for your games, uh, whether it's one shots or continuing series at dungeonmasterforhire.com.au or hit me up on at NoFunBrown on Twitter. All right. Uh, what are we doing here? You can find us. Uh, you can see on overlay. There's a lot of our Twitters there as well. But Jaspers, thank you for so much for having all of us. Uh, I, I don't know. I'm just I hope I speak for everyone when I say we have we having a ball. Uh, it's only day three of six. Uh, Nick and I, and I think D20 are all playing in the same game again on Friday, but with Nick NVC DM as the DM this time. So I'm going to play a character and muck up your game this time. Oh boy! And, all right, let's get out of here. Wave to the camera. Let's get out. Goodbye.